Hi everybody, welcome to another Hobby Hang here with myself, Zach, and Saray. Saray, it's been a minute actually since you and, I, you and I have done a stream together. Yeah, right? it has, weirdly enough, <laughs> at least painting together. P painting. Oh, We've done some uh, gaming together. That's but. right, we've done some gaming together. Um, <clears throat> what are we working on today? Today, speaking of gaming, we're in an exciting time for Age of Sigmar because we're at this point where anything's possible yeah. with an index release. Um, I have a Slaves of the Darkness army that you've been playing on stream. That's right. You're doing your own Slaves of the Darkness army. The cool thing about this is that they're kind of different. Yeah. You're focusing a lot more on, well, more cavalry. Yes, much more ca cavalry. Very heavy cav. Very he And you also have this interest in Dark Oath. Yeah. And I think it's cool because it, it really is sort of like the Dark Bretonian thing you're yeah. doing where, like, the cavalry are, like, legit and then... The, 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 the <laughs> unwashed masses, the unwashed uh, masses. Are, the, uh, are, the, are the dark oath. I'm focusing a lot more on the ever-chosen stuff. Yeah. Um, and so today I'll be finishing up, well, actually, I don't know if I'll finish, but uh, forever ago, uh, November 2022 is when I started painting this army, um, I started a chariot. <laughs> Here it is. And I'm going to work on the chariot today. Okay. So that cool. when you play Ever Chosen on, cha on our channel, you can have a, a chariot. Yeah, you're yeah. working on the middle class. I'm much more about <laughs> yeah, a divided yeah, strata the divided of strata. high and yeah, yeah. have and have not. I like it. Uh, what are you working on? So I'm working on, what's her name? Holga Clovenhorn? Splithorn. Splithorn. This lady. No, Cloven. Cloven, whatever. We probably should have. Clovenhorn, you're right. Yeah. So uh, we're working on this. It's. Um, Oh, the other one is is different. It's uh, she's over here somewhere. It's Tolgar. Tolgar. Yeah. Now it doesn't wanna. Here, I guess. Here's the trick. I've learned. There, yeah. So oh, I know it's still. I know working. we just talked about how. Um, oh, it might be zoomed in a little too much. Too much. We just talked about how. Um, yeah, there we go. There she is. Uh, I'm working on this. You know, high high cavalry versus. Uh, Dark Oath, but uh, I am going to have some amount of standard Warriors of Chaos. So I needed to come up with a scheme that's kind of neutral, right? Because for those of you who've been following, the Dark Bretonia stuff is each each cavalry model is going to have a different paint scheme. Yep. Um, every all the Dark Oath are probably all the Dark Oath need a scheme, and all the Warriors of Chaos need a similar scheme. So I'm going with something a bit more neutral. It's going to be Bone, Black, and Burgundy. Um, that way, they're still cool. It's still a cool scheme, but they're like less. Uh, outland, you know, outlandish compared to like all the different, <laughs> the, the million the, different color schemes. You have a lot going on, yeah. a lot of cool stuff going on with the uh, um, dark Bretonian thing. Yeah. So yeah, it checks out that yeah. you'd want to maybe chill out a bit on. Yeah, I want to be able to do some mass, produ you know, yeah, mass produced right, painting. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, also by the way, uh, if you haven't already and you're just hanging out, yeah, uh, we look at look at this new thing we made. Pretty cool. Isn't that, isn't that pretty neat? Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it is a nice reminder. Um, or if you're watching here for the first time, you're like, what is going on with these yeah. guys? Go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me do it we, again. We promise you're going to... Oh, uh, so you have got, to navigate... Oh, right, there you go. There you go. Uh, you have to navigate... Let's Hold see. On. Now try. Now try. Hold on, watch this. There it goes. Yeah, that's it. That's a train bell, by the way. Oh, cool. Fun. <laughs> yeah, nice. Appropriate. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah so that would, be, that would be great. And if you're watching for the first time... Uh, we promise you're going to like something that we do. Yeah, something. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So you're working on her. That's right. I, I think I was confusing her. There's one called, like, Tolgar Split. So the, I, I do have him. He's he's the one I used for um, uh, our you, Totally Not Panicking right, stream. Right. That's right. That's right. So Okay. All right. Let's, I, didn't, I didn't think I really realized there were two different... Memor uh, commemorative models for... Basically, Dark Oath. Yeah. Well, no, these are Warriors of Chaos. These are like standard. Oh, those are not. Yeah, she's too armored to be <laughs> Dark Oath. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is where. So, th this is me coming up with a, a scheme that is not going to be um, all of the different models. What do, you, what do you mean? So, all. Oh, oh, like you were saying earlier. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, the Bretonian, where everyone has their own unique. Right. Chaotic heraldry. Yeah. Hey, sorry. Do you have a good kind of favorite like dark wood? Dark wood. <laughs> dark wood. Gr like, like dark oath. Is that no, no. Dark wood. <laughs> I, dark wood recipe. Uh, dark wood. Uh, I would probably start with Vallejo dark rust, just because it's my favorite dark brown. Okay. Um, and then just add a, like a little bit of English brown into it, in, in various degrees. English brown. Okay. Yeah. Which is what I actually base coated her in. You're so. doing this Vallejo style. Yeah. 
so what I'm gonna I'm right now I'm finishing up uh, her blacking out some of the uh, her ornamentation. Uh, you might have heard me mention that her the standard color scheme for the uh, plebs of my army, I guess is what we'll say, is gonna be bone black and burgundy. So once I'm done with this black, I'll move on to something more interesting. I'm kind of into uh, uh, the Citadel version of this is Dryad Bark. Okay. <laughs> Down first. Yeah. Then I actually like Bugman's Glow, dry brushed over top. Interesting. That's a flesh color. Yeah. And then I like um, like any, almost any of the bone colors kind of mixed in with that flesh, the bug, Bugman's Glow. Um, Thanks, Dan. It as, is bone armor. That's like the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, and also you might have noticed I changed her axe out. You uh, did. Yeah, I didn't like the original, it was like a spiked mace, almost. Yeah. Um, so, something I've been doing with my chaos is <laughs> de-spiking them. You have. De-spike, uh, I'm, I'm about to embark on a journey where I'm going to de-trim them. De-trim them. De-trimming, yeah. so why don't I just play a different army at that point? Yeah. Um, you, you've, you're, you're, you're preparing to put yourself through... I don't have that much infantry, so this no, is the only thing. No, I'm saying you're preparing to put your by by de spiking chaos and perhaps making content out of it. You're preparing to put yourself through some some, <laughs> some <laughs> through death, the ringer through some death threats. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. almost as bad as taking a, an imperialis off. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm gonna grab some Barracknar Burgundy. Uh, uh, yeah, peeps, what, what's everyone working on home? We yeah. are going to, we want to chat, we, um, we want to chat some Dark Oath today, we're going to chat yeah, a Even though this is not Dark Oath. This is, th she's not Dark Oath, no. yeah. Um, but we're, we, we know the rules came out, and we know the box is coming out, and we know, um, you know, Saray's interested in this. Very. Um, using it as, like, the unwashed mashes, masses, masses as, as he likes yeah. to say. Right now we're painting middle management. Middle oh, management, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, it's so uh, we we want to ch chat chat some Dark Oath. We'll chat a little bit of Sigmar. Um, yeah, some new rules to talk about. Some new rules we want to talk about, and um, we 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 have you know, oftentimes we like to talk about that stuff on our gaming stream on Saturday um, when we play some Sigmar. But the thing is that there will be our, uh, stuff then. A new too. article. There'll by be a whole then, new so. article. Where we've been promised an article on magic and prayers. Yeah, um, and so we, you know, we gotta, we gotta get this stuff. We gotta get these things cleared. Yeah, we gotta figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, so words of Marvin Gaye. What's going on? What's going on? Um, yeah, definitely. I. Um, what are your kind of? What is your kind of plans, Saray, with the Dark Oath? Like, um, are they all going to be this kind of bone color? Oh like, yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. So this is a test model. Okay. This is this is my test for. Uh, is this scheme going to work alongside? As, as a neutral to, to all the wackiness of all the other color schemes. Right. So, yeah, this is a test model. I've, you know, I'm curious where it'll go. I feel like these colors will probably work fine together, so, you know. Let me know what y'all think uh, about this color scheme. For non blondes and that, yeah. What's going on? Sorry, grab some paint. Zach is off screen. Four non blondes did say that. Well, okay, okay. This brush is not big enough. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm realizing. Hey, get out of here. You're ruining the, fo ruining the focus. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Here. Let me give some unfettered or un unobstructed. I need a slightly bigger brush. You got a. What you got here? That's too big. There we go. Megan and I have been, well, me especially, have been doing that thing where I use a giant brush, which is like really cool to do right now. That's that's the th that's what the cool kids are doing? That's the cool things. I've been using a 7. Jeez. You have this. It comes with your. Oh, the. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, also, sorry, quick reminder. If you want to support the channel and support us, you can uh, super chat or super chat to have your question re questions read out or you can give some membership so you can see our exclusive behind-the-scenes streams. 
Yeah. And well, so on. You can and also, so s- and send us mail also. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Preferably don't send us anthrax, but. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no to free anthrax, though. Yeah, for, yeah. And the weird thing is, is that it's it's handled so poorly over our post office. I don't know why. We have, like, the world's worst post office. Yeah, you were saying they don't let you know when you have mail. Yeah, you kind of have to, like, go, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of bad. You, um, which is sort of annoying. Like, if anyone here was trying to surprise us with mail, it actually wouldn't work. Um, because what would happen is, um... It would go and it would sit there. Oh, we're getting we're getting part party. Oh, party lights, yay! Woo! And then, thank you, yeah. Y'all. Oh, the party lights are nice in here. Meg redid them recently, and they look pretty cool. Wow, uh, great! Yeah, um, thank you, Soups, and thank you, Vino. Um, we we appreciate you guys. Yeah, uh, thanks for supporting us. It helps us keep the channel alive. Yeah. Um, and just in general, we appreciate yeah. your your soup patronage, your, uh, your help. Yeah, and your, just all the help those two do. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. What's going on here next? Oh, um, yeah, they probably won't see this, right? Man, you give this camera one second to not focus on this, and it... <laughs> I know, what's a... Come on! Yeah, I'll just have to manual focus it. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, like, manip- There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna set it to manual. There we go. All right. Obviously, we're going to have to end up doing two coats on this, as you can see. With this Baraknar Burgundy. Probably one of my favorite colors, honestly. I don't use it enough, so... This is kind of my excuse to finally give it some... It's due. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I need to do this thing where I don't use my normal brush for metallics. I've been doing that. You trying to destroy your brushes? Pretty much. Let's see what uh what's that? Let's read let's see what are people are working on. Zinch by Saturday. Zinch by Saturday. What Dan was saying. Oh, okay. Fire Zinch? What is that? You're talking about Dan. Tell me more about this Zinch fire. You're working on. Um, Jeez. Okay, now I'm going back to autofocus because it's like I can, it's a very narrow band where I can work. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna pop pop her off the base. I gotta gotta get her under her under cloak. Come on. I'm currently working on this. The um, chariot's kind of interesting. It has two people on it. The the guy piloting the actual chariot. Yeah. And then it's got like a chaos warrior on it. Who's pretty epic looking. You would almost not confuse him. If you found out this was a character, you or like a hero, you wouldn't be surprised. I really like his helmet. He has a disguise? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll pass him over yeah. if you wanna dare. Oh no no, not this guy. This guy's fine. This guy like I'm saying, this guy could almost be a hero. Yeah, he's actually larger than he's you. quite significant. He's right? like a chosen. Type. He is. I mean, he is. It's. It's. Yeah. Hey, the, show me the other guy. I like, guy. I like uh, this guy's helmet. Ground by the whip there. His okay. the helmet is wet. I just. Oh yeah. <coughs> Look at his helmet. He's got kind of. A, he's sort of like an unwashed masses type. Oh, yeah. As we like to say. They didn't even give him a shirt. Yeah, he has no shirt, <laughs> and yeah. he's just carting this uh, epic dude. But the, this guy's not a hero or anything. Uh, but he kind of looks like he could be. The he's enormous. He's like bigger than a chosen. Yeah. You'd think his, uh, surely his, <laughs> surely the, uh, the data sheet, or the da- war scroll reflects Re- that, right? Reflects how powerful he yeah, has been. Yeah. Yeah, I don't with think so. With his, what, one attack? Three attacks, I think? With a, with I, a Chaos Warblade? Yeah. I guess that's actually pretty good for one model. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's been promoted, right? I'm sure he's like a, a specialist level, at least. This is... No, this is this is a demote. He's been demoted. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you gotta go ride with a chariot, guys. Sorry, yeah. no horse for you. I know. Well, I guess yeah. From in the context of being a knight, he's been demoted, huh? Yeah. In the context of being maybe a standard chaos warrior, he's been slightly elevated. Slightly elevated. Itchy back. Um. Sorry, we have we want to chat a little little dark oath stuff. 
GW has been premiering and showing oh, they off have some, some Dark Oath stuff. Um, it's kind of in a funky spot because Dark Oath stuff because it's like they're releasing it and they're showing some rules for it, but um, <clears throat> they're not like like is this going to be fourth ed? Is this going to yeah. be third ed? Like what's it's kind of where I guess it's fourth ed. I I'm assuming they're doing fourth ed stuff for us. You think here. so? I think so. So we went to chat rules. They also released an article showing off the kit itself. Which I'm excited to hear Saray's plans for, other than the painting. Um, yeah, you know, what do you like most out of this box? Is it the, the Wilderfiend? The and it's not even close. <laughs> not even close. I, I kind of knew when I asked. Yeah, Wilderfiend. I mean, I really like the cheap. Well, I'm, I'm assuming they'll be cheap uh, replacement for the Marauders, the Light Horsemen, right? Because I'm doing a horse themed army. Right. So having some nice cheap horses that you know. I'm sure you've heard of me griping about why do Chaos Knights cost 220 points? They don't feel like they're worth that much. Right. Um, not having any screens was always kind of a problem with the army. So having these guys and girls. Um, All right. I want to circle back to that. I, I have a uh, I have a bone to pick with that comment. Let's chat about that. Okay. In a minute. You have a, yeah. you have a okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. Well. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll say now. It's very funny that you mentioned that. We we've been we were chatting about that. The other on Saturday's game with with Meg, or uh, uh, Monday's game, excuse me. Meg and I played, and I was playing daughters. Daughters really truly don't have any screens. Yeah. Worse is that anything you try to use as a screen is probably going to die. Yes. Um. So it did screen, and then you lost something very valuable to being a screen when it really isn't supposed to. I kind of feel like casts have good screens. Um. Sorry. Well, yes. Themes that. Uh, sorry. I should say um, if you want to be Calvary. screens that are thematic to my army. Right. Yes. There you go. That's yeah. that's more like it. And you know, you did. You were like, oh, I don't want to use something like Furies for that, no. or a Raptorix or something. No. Which could work, but you really want an all cavalry army. Yeah. Uh, I want so, mortals so on horses. Mortals on horses. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. You want your light cavalry. You want your light cavalry. Yeah. So this is kind of the perfect thing. Look, I know they're not here to <laughs> kill stuff. They're here to die themselves. Yeah, I'm curious. You know, what, it looks like... Did they not kind of talk about them having some kind of shooting attack, like a lance or something? I imagine they, they're going to have a javelin in the same way that... Um, Marauders. Marauders. Do. Do. Maybe let's just talk about it. Let's just look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, that would be useful. Yeah, we should just do that. So, okay, so one of the big things with Dark Oath is that they have oaths, right? Right. So we were talking about this mechanic before. Yeah. What do we think about it? What do you think about it? I think it's thematic, so yeah. that's a plus for me. I'm more into thematic rules. Yeah. Um, I think they're, like, not quite good enough to make me want to do anything with it, though. Right? Like... <clears throat> right. Yeah, so here we go. If you make an un unmodified charge roll of 7-up, this unit and the unit... Uh, sorry, this unit makes charge roll with that charge roll. Fulfills its oath. Once this unit fulfills its oath, until the end of the battle, the run characteristic of its raider weapons goes to... Minus one. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, so... But... Yeah. Th these always feel a little weird, because it's sort of like... I, I You know, from a game designer standpoint, I don't know enough about game design to know. But they always feel a little bit like, here's the thing that we want this unit to have, and we think that the unit will be balanced when it has it. Yeah. But we also think the unit will be balanced when it doesn't have it. <laughs> And we think that as long as you do a thing with this unit, you should get that perk. Yeah. Either way, though, maybe it's balanced, right? Or uh, maybe it's not. It's not balanced until you do the thing, or is it not balanced after yeah. you do the thing? Yeah, that's exactly. Kind of, that's my question. What do you? Where is it? Is it balanced? Yeah. Is it balanced pre or post <laughs> buff? Let's, <laughs> let's say you spent ten points a model with the exact same stat line that can never get Ren one. Then you spent twelve points a model <laughs> on the exact same stat line that could get. Ren that, one from that, the, from that the get had go. Ren one. I would probably just spend the extra points. Would you spend eleven points for a unit that doesn't start with Ren one, but after it makes a charge, gets Ren one? I, or like, what would the points difference need to be? Maybe I'm maybe I'm underselling the cost. Maybe it's ten for none, fifteen for some, and twelve or eleven. What if it's ten for <laughs> zero Ren? And then 11? We but could yeah. probably find units with these stats and check their point costs. Yeah, yeah, probably. And be like, what does this unit cost when it has no rend? What does it cost when it has one rend? Or a similar sim similar unit with one rend? Yeah. And then where? how are these guys costed? Are they costed very close to the <laughs> no rend but can get one rend? 
Like eleven. Yeah, where, where do they fall on the line? Are they eleven points a model? Are they fourteen points a model? Like, right. You're right. I'm sure there is an actual. Like, I'm sure there's a points. You know, we could figure it. Actually, sorry, just randomly. Do you remember when Tenth Edition released? Uh, GW talked about. Oh yeah, we have an algorithm for the points now. Now, <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. I don't know if anyone remembers that. I thought well, that was really funny considering how unbalanced it ended up being. Yeah, I... Uh, maybe, but I can't say much because I've been um, spreading a rumor that not not intentionally lying, but just completely wrong, that their pylons were going away. Oh, like that's right. I mean, every stream we've had, uh, basically every stream we've had, every gaming stream we've had, there is footage of me saying say, pylons are going away. This is not true. A- and it's clearly 100% <laughs> not true. We yeah. just saw that pylons are not going yeah. away. Oh, Ma- thank Ma- you, Meg. Meg, thanks for a super chat, which... We're is, glad to see you're alive. We're glad <laughs> to see you're alive. It's just a Zach in a Liberty Fire style. Thank you, Megan. We appreciate it. Um, although, also, you know, it's our money, and that's... And but it's great. I'm glad that you um, did that because it makes me feel nice, so I appreciate it. Yeah, Megan um, is on her trip to go visit her sister on the East Coast, and... Um, she, um, we were kind of texting while she was at the airport after I dropped her off, and the last message she sent me just said, bye, Zach. <laughs> and then I was like, what? What's happening? Are you okay? And then I was like, wait, is the plane... She never says bye. Is the plane... I mean, like, saying my name's not too common. She might say, like, See you bye, later. love you, or uh, yeah. I'll message you when I get, uh, when I land in Chicago, or yeah. I'll message you when I land in Boston, or whatever. But she was just like, bye, Zach. And I was like, wait, is the plane getting hijacked? And that's, like, all she had time to type real quick before they took her phone from her? Like, what is happening right now? I was like, this is a little scary. And then um, I mentioned to Saray, I was hanging out with him here before the stream. We were hobbying and getting ready and stuff. And then finally she texted when she landed. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we were all very relieved that we were trying to figure out if she was on a Boeing or not. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? The, the hijacking's one, but also planes are just kind of... Falling out of the sky. Falling out, yeah. Now, nobody's died from a Boeing accident yet, right? It's just like it's the plane has to suddenly land. Uh, I don't know. It's like a scary thing and the plane has to land or something? Well, if we want to get into conspiracy theories. Of course. We, <laughs> we always want to get into conspiracy yeah. theories in this channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, let's talk about this. this oh, we're not going to talk about Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Darko, Darko, Darko. Yeah, yeah. Do you, sorry, I, I derailed us. Uh, what, what, what were you saying? All right, Oath of the War Leader. Uh, if this unit was the first friendly unit picked to fight in your combat phase after its oath, uh, sorry, this unit fulfills its oath until the end of the battle. Add one to wound rolls for attacks made with melee weapons by friendly mortal Darko. Okay, you know what? I keep saying I was I was saying yeah, these are kind of bad. These are kind of good. Plus one to wound for friendly models within friendly dark oath models within twelve inches. Yeah, if he fights first, I'm also gonna guess that he has the. Um, there's a high likelihood that he has the I fight and then a nearby yeah. unit fights. So yeah, if turn one you send these guys out to clear a screen. Yeah, they're clear. They, it's a good chance they clear it. He clears it um, until the end of the battle, and then it happens immediately. So then yeah. your other guys. If, and he just has to fight for us. He doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to survive. <laughs> he doesn't have to survive. Well, to give his aura, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. you're right. <laughs> yeah, but he he, he doesn't have to um, kill anything. Yeah. Which, if, if you know, Chaos Warlords on, on Demonic Mounts are any indication, he probably he won't. Well, absolutely will not kill anything. That's okay. So he just, he just fights. Um, then he passes, you know, fight first, maybe. We don't know. We don't know to, that. To we're Marauders. We're hoping. And then they fight. And with plus one to wound. Yeah, I like it. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Um, plus one to wound for the rest of the battle. For the rest of the game. Now, I say it the way I said it because there's, Saray, you know, you're, you you know there's kind of a likelihood, like you said, that these Marauder Horsemen guys are going to die yes. turn one or two, right? They're they're there to rush up, clear a screen, and then th- then be a screen. Yes. That or harass. Or right? harass. They're, they're, they're not, uh, you know. They're not out here to, to... They're not here for a long time. They're here yeah. for a good time. They're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah, I... Um, yeah, it, it, it looks good. And listen, there's a, there's a chance that this guy's 90 points. Maybe, that's... Maybe 110. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't really know where stuff is going, so... Yeah. 
We don't. We don't. In, in, in modern in modern points right now in third ed, my guess would be like one ten, maybe one ten. Yeah. Unless he has some other, you know, he might have some other interesting ability. He probably does. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm in a trying to get the cloak weird position on this. What cloak. do you think about the model? Oh, the model's awesome. What do you like about it? Uh, I like that he's uh, naked. <laughs> No, I like his. Uh, he's. I like that he's like kind of. Oh, he's like kind of a bit open. He's like, yeah, look, I didn't get the nice chaos armor. I'm just out here, suns out, guns out, suns out, guns out. Oh, do you have a dark? You have a dark brown, huh? Or no? I do have dark brown. I it's, earth, it's earth brown. That'll work. All right. Sorry, we've been getting some party lights. Yeah, we had another one from Meg. <laughs> Meg. Um, it says. Meg says you're hot. Yeah, thanks, Meg. I appreciate it. Um, sounds like sounds like Meg might be having some drinks at the, <laughs> at the airport. Hey, at the airport, jealous. Um, Meg loves having drinks at the airport. That's like a Meg thing. Zach, you'd get so much money if I died. That's a, okay. Yeah. <laughs> take yeah. Take care. <laughs> take out life insurances um, on each other if you get married. You're yeah. you're getting married. Yeah. Get life insurance. Thanks. That's a pro pro tip. It's a pro tip. It makes you feel better. It's so cheap. Okay. Yeah. It's like for you and Holly, it'll be like probably under. Probably between ten and twenty dollars a month. Okay, it's like, and then you just know if someone dies, you get money. I hope you feel better. Which will make you get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I hope you get over it. All right, uh, Liberty Fire says justice for Avatar. What do you? He's never gonna stop. Look, just Avatar is it is in its right place. Justice has been meted out. Really? Meted yeah. meted out? Are you the one who did this? Yeah, it was you and I. This yes. is the last time we were in stream. Yeah, we we did this. Yeah. This is still we're still feeling the fallout from Yeah. From a Speaking of Fallout, real quick tangent. Have you watched the show? Yes, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Yeah, I was actually thinking of watching. I've never played the video game. Yeah. And I've sworn off post apoc. Um, I, I hate it. I hate yeah. all the post apoc uh -huh. stuff. But Fallout kind of tickles my fancy in the setting. Yeah, it's, in it's an interesting, like, 50s. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Yeah. Well, it's not, not actually 50s, but kind of 50s. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, it's much better than I anticipated. People are... It's generally... It seems to be doing well. People yeah. are, People have been saying positive things about it. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> So okay, yeah. So this guy's super cool. Yeah. What do you do? You like the horse mask? I'm a big fan. Yeah. Of the horse so mask. he has two horse masks. I like this one more. The other one has a horn on it. I like this one more. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going half mask. I think actually is it is it is it in this article? They show it. It's the next one we're gonna look at. Yeah, yeah. It's the next tab. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. This yeah. is more of the rules. Yeah, we're we're talking rules. We're gonna talk models in a second. Yeah. Um. So they talk about. Right here, these bargains with the ruinous powers cut both ways as the chieftains and elders who fail to fulfill their sworn pledge are twisted into wilder fiends or wilder fiends. What do we think? Wilder or wilder? I think wilder. Wilder fiends. Hulking abominations, yeah. So they're basically like weird chaos spawn almost. Mm -hmm. um, in battle, so I wonder how this works. Is this, is this an in-game mechanic, do we think? Is this like a chaos spawn thing? Um, oh yeah, it felt it felt like they were alluding to the fact that you could die. Is that what we're talking about and get turned into? Well, one? it says it says it just it cuts both ways. Oh so I'm no, I don't think it's an in-game thing. I think, which I kind of like. Uh, I don't think it's an in-game thing. I really? think it's a. Um, you don't think it's a a, a a version of the Eye of the Gods style? I suppose it could be. Yeah. I suppose it could be. I was kind of thinking that we're just to assume that when you see a wilder fiend on the combat that that used to yes. be a guy, yeah. um, and he got turned into that, which is like, oh man, what a bummer for him, but pretty good for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so they, they get this feed on flesh ability, which I haven't actually read, so let's read it. Each time a model is slain within 12 inches of any friendly units with this ability, pick one of those units to receive one sacrifice point. If the slain model is a dark oath, that unit receives two sacrifice points instead of one. Each friendly unit with this ability can have a maximum of six sacrifice points at any one time. This is starting to sound like uh, Flesh Eater Course. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of your hero phase, if this unit has one or more sacrifice points, you can say that it will bestow a dark blessing. If you do so, pick one of the following effects and roll a number of dice equal to the number of sacrifice points that this unit has, then reset its sacrifice point to zero. So it's, it's like a minor Eye of the Gods thing. Matt Rose loves his... He loves these tables and currencies. Count up to six? Yeah. 
on a on a six side die and keep it there and then spend it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of for it. I'm kind of for it. All right. So for each four up, pick one enemy unit within twelve of this unit until the end of the turn. That unit cannot issue or receive commands. Okay, pretty good. Uh, quite good. Quite good. Uh, the thing about that ability is that often when you use an ability like that in the game in Sigmar, you're oftentimes only trying to target one unit. Mm. So like I'm often I'm going into con- yeah you're you're sending something into witch elves. You don't want them to alt defense, yeah. or you don't want them to, it's, it's until the end of the turn. Uh, it says you redo it at the, or just for the phase, or end of the turn. Okay. Yeah. Well, battle battle yeah. going away though, but still, there's something you don't want one unit to do often. Okay. But it's not really often like oh, I want to spread around all over the place. Yeah. No, that's never a strategy. But what that means is that you're probably going to get it. Yeah. Because even if you roll three dice, you have a very high likelihood of rolling one four up. Is ice one four? Yeah. And if yeah, this is quite good actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for each three up, pick one enemy unit within eighteen inches of this unit. Also, you very can good. pick. Yes, yeah, so I just and then throwing out some mortal wounds. That's pretty good. Yeah, very good. Could, uh, average four mortal wounds if you if you lose have a full dice. Yeah. But that yeah yeah. Um, I I am I have to say one of the things that's very very cool. That we've been noticing, if it, keen players, not that we're keen, but we <laughs> like to think that we see a lot of stuff because we play so much. You start to see things that I think are going to be telltale signs of fourth ed. Yeah, I've been seeing for a little while now that I truly believe the Flesh Eater Courts book will not look very much different from the Index. Right. We now literally were just told everyone's getting four sub factions. I and think they those are going to be the four sub factions. Yep. Um, you see the currency system here. Uh, the only thing that will potentially not be around anymore is the heroic actions. We know those are going away. Yep. Potentially that gets changed into an ability that the army has or something. Or, yeah, a command ability, I think yeah. is what it was. Um, so, you know, I, I think if, if Matt Rose wants to have us keep little six-sided dice by our units and track, oh, I have this many points, I've got this many points, yeah. oh, I'm going to spend them, uh, I'm into it. Yeah, I'm into it. Um the other thing that we saw... Now, Dark Oath already had, I do something, I get something. Yeah. But you and I were chatting about this a little earlier. Uh, Crone Seers of the Praia have this. Um, <clears throat> I do something, I get something. Yeah. And I'm less excited about I do something, I get something. Yeah. I'm always highly skeptical of that rule. Kind of yeah. like we were just talking like about. Like, how do you balance it? How do you balance it? How are you balancing it? it? Pre or post nerf? Uh, uh, whatever. Right. Whether you do the ability. Where are you, where are you costing that? Yeah, are, are you costing that? Again, are you costing it? Uh, how hard is it to make it happen? A yeah. lot of times, these things are very hard to make happen. Yeah, I mean, plus one to wound for all units within twelve inches is like that's very powerful. A cauldron of blood um, that has been filled in Cthulhu's army. Yeah, it already gives out a eighteen inch bubble when it's at full health of plus um, one to save. Yeah, very powerful. Um, when it's in Cthulhu's army, it gets filled. That bubble is now not just plus one to save; it's minus one to hit as well. Gee, okay, yeah. So, like, where's that? Point? But you don't also you don't always necessarily want to toss a cart into combat, right? Because they're not that durable. Um, now, against I, I've played this army a couple times against soul like grave lords, mm-hmm. practicing for for the game on Monday that Megan and I had. Uh, Throwing the cart into wolves, no problem. Right. Dire wolves. Throwing the cart into ten chaos warriors, I think, <laughs> Less of a... I think it's going to live, but it's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah. So then you start having to take heal prayer spells. Then you start having to use your prayers to heal and say do other things. Yeah. It's kind of like, what's going on here, really? You suddenly right? lost the uh, the real strength. But a the... lot of armies have cheap screens. You're literally talking about how you wish you had cheap screens. Yeah, yeah I'll send a cart into five Marauder Horsemen. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure she picks them up, and I'm sure I take... If I fight first, no damage. Yeah. Even if I don't fight first, I, I, I probably take a few wounds. Right? Yeah, at most. So, um, like, I'm, I'm kind of for it. Um, and the cart does have a way you can fill it without fighting. It's just not that good. Yeah. Um, so I'm skeptical on that mechanic, Saray. Uh, sounds like you are a little bit, too. Um, I think that mechanic often produces big winners and losers. Like, you end up looking at it and you go, <laughs> why is his so easy to do? Yeah. And he gets a whole, like, plus one to wound or plus one save. Mine is really hard to do. And I get basically nothing. And I get plus one to my run roll yeah. or something. like yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Remains to be seen. Not that it can't be done. That's certainly, yes. that's certainly a thing, though, right? Cool. Uh, Soups, by the way, says justice for Dante. 
Thanks, Soups, again, uh, once where again. Where was he? He was, he was towards the bottom of the list on uh, Grim Dark Lunch. <laughs> on Grim Dark Lunch, yeah. yeah, he was not... He was... Yeah, you guys didn't love he was that. Appro- he was appropriately ranked. So. Yeah. Um, I'm still working on my... Uh, my my whippy dude here. Whippy. Um, I've got I've got a little bit of. Uh, how do you like to wash it, or do you like to wash? You actually don't always wash your your metallics. I've noticed, but no, and I don't. Not always. I don't always either. Um, but how do you like to wash uh, copper? How do you want? Oh, I tend to do copper with verdigris, if I'm going to oh, do it pr- at all. Pretty much always, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess if I were to do it, I'd probably do. Do you want it tarnished car- copper? I I I I, I um. I'm not. I, I, I'm gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm not. Sorry, I'm asking for your. I'm. I, I I'm guess. I'm asking for your advice, Ray. My. I'm asking, no, I'm just kidding. I'm asking for like. I'm. I'm more curious. Just, I don't use copper. I actually really don't like copper as a metallic. Oh no. No. Interesting. Yeah. Pro- answer. Yeah. So soft. <laughs> I, I've been enjoying Reichland flesh shade over it. Yeah. Um. It just does that thing where all it does is give it a little bit of depth. Yeah. And that's it's, about it. It's not like yeah. It's, um, which is why I've also been liking not purple over gold. Oh, interesting. Um, what have I been using over gold? Seraphim sepia. Yes. Yeah. Same reason. Same reason. Um, like I don't always want the. I don't always want to attach so much meaning to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's what people always say with purple. Like, oh, it makes it real rich and vibrant. Well, weirdly and, enough, it almost makes it look like copper. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I kind of almost prefer se- sepia because it's like now it's just gold with depth. Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong with uh, Agrax Earthshade either. It gives it a, it makes it a little dirty, but it it also looks pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Deep red brown soup says. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get back to this. Yes. So sh- so we, we we chatted rules. Chatted rules. Um, here's where I am. Uh, oh yeah. Their cloaks looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do the trim in black, but I'm waiting to finish up the cloak first. So uh, I didn't realize she had some. She had a, the cloak like runs back here, behind her head. So I had to go back and do that. How are you liking that model? Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. You are not a chaos player in 40k. Nope, <laughs> not at all. Why not? Oh, that's well, that's not true. I have death guard. Oh, we just we just went through this. Yeah. Earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Okay, so never mind then. Um, I I have to say I I'm like not only slaves. The slaves of darkness is the only chaos army in Sigmar that piques my interest. Like really, yeah. Um, and I painted and I do not like the play style, <laughs> so I don't really play it. You're you've yeah. been playing it, um, <clears throat> but I would say for sure that um, I like chaos a lot more in 40k. It okay. piques my interest way more in 40k than it does in than it does in 30 or in AOS. Yeah. Well, so my thing is, I really only like mortals of chaos. I'm not huge on demons of chaos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in, a- in AOS, the mortals are so much cooler. Yeah. Not huge on demons. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, I feel like there's like a connection thing. Like, I really like the idea of like corrupted people. Mm-hmm. As, uh, I, I, I much prefer that to just demonic beings. Yeah. I, 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 I agree. Yeah, and, and the AOS morals are such a cool job. Oh, yeah. Uh, such, such a cool model line. Um, we have a we have a poll up, and we're going to close the poll kind of shortly. Um, let me explain the poll if you're not sure what the heck I'm talking about. We know that um, they, they've kind of talked about Warcry bands going away, a lot of the Chaos Warcry bands. Yeah. Um, and... We, you know, what I was saying about these Warcry bands is a lot of them are just insanely cool. Yeah. And with the Dark Oath stuff coming out, what I'm wondering is who out there is interested in saying, well, look, I'm going to buy a bunch of blank Warcry models and I'm going to make the Dark Oath stuff. I guess I won't yeah. have horsemen or whatever, right? Yeah. You're, you're going to have to figure that out. But, like, who do you want to be your, your rank and file infantry guys? Yeah, who are you going to proxy? Yeah, who basically who, who's gonna who's a proxy for for like a wild band of chaos people? Um, so we put Sarah and I kind of talked about the four we th- we thought were the coolest um, and might might do this the best um, when we put them up. There's a couple caveats to this that Sarah was pointing out to me 
for some of them, which is that a lot of these are in weird numbers. Yeah, they are not squads of ten. That said, Saray, I think the four we picked are... Yeah. Let me see what four we picked. I'm going to forget. <laughs> um, no, I don't forget. Signs of the Flame, uh, Unmade... Splintered Fang and the Tarantula 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 Um So we were looking at this. Tarant, tar, um, let me see, actually. L let's quick look. Signs of the Flame are not. They're a unit of eight. Yeah. So you, you, you're going to have to buy three, four, uh, four before you, to have two squads. Yeah. Right, because that would be 32. You can have a squad of um, 20 and then 10. Splintered Fang are annoying. They also are not because. You get n I think you get nine or eight dudes, uh -huh. and then you get two bases or one of bullcrap of snakes. Yeah, so yeah. of bullcrap. Yeah, um, tarantulos is tarantulos is good. It works. Yeah, you get thirteen models, ten dudes. We, this is when we looked up ten dudes. Three of them are spider bases. Yeah, which you just have yourself some cool objective markers. Yeah, so thirteen overall is what Th yeah. thirteen, and you get the the important thing is you get ten actual yeah. people you can use. Um, and then unmade are your one shy. Yeah. Um, all nine unmade models are going to be great. Sort of like, um, sort of like signs of the flame. Yeah. Um, all nine are, are cool or all eight are cool, but you're going to have to buy in weird numbers. So I see signs of the flame is currently winning. Cool. But if that influences your vote, please keep that in mind. <laughs> you will have to buy a weird number for all of them except for tarantulas, which is currently losing. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so if you buy four, that would be 40, 40 models. That's uh, two squads of twenty. If you buy four. So if if you buy signs of the flame. Uh huh. Right. You buy four times eight is thirty two. You need to buy five. Five. Sorry. Uh, if you buy five, you can have two squads of twenty or five, five. squads of ten. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, some what number. Yeah, which them. I think is okay. Yeah. Versus, you know, how many would you buy for Darko? <laughs> would you have fifty? Probably not. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, would, I think um, 40 is probably the, reasonable. There's a, it, it remains, like, whether a unit can take off as a horde unit is yeah. really, is really, who knows. Yeah. Right? Um, I, I play two horde, I'm playing two horde armies right now. Like, Witch Elves and Dreadsay Theridans are amazing when you have 60 of them. Yeah. Um, but meanwhile, you know, Goblin Spider Riders come in units of five, and that's what I take. Right. <laughs> it's like... They're not there because I want more. They're there to be a roadblock. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check out... So, here's the problem with this model. Mm -hmm. Her armor is bone-colored. She has bones protruding from her body, so I need to come up with a different color for bone here. Um, oh, fascinating. I see. So, I've got this... I, 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 to be honest with you, I like when this happens. I like seeing, like, two... Like, part of the color palette... Yeah, having to... Is, is like... Bone, but then there's two different bones. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Cygor Brown. It's it's a dark brown that has a little bit of red in it. I honestly wish I had Gore Grunt of Fur, which is more of an orangey brown. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin down some Cygor Brown contrast. Cygor Brown, too soon. And then thin it down. Pretty heavily, probably. Let's see, one. Get it, guys, because of Beastman. Two. Oh, yeah. They're going to have to rename it. To Skaven Brown? Oh because my Skaven are the Skaven new. Skaven are the new Beastman. Beast, uh, beast. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay, so this is thin down. I think a GW employee <laughs> went and did that. <laughs> yeah. To make, every, to make it, yeah. false flag. To make <laughs> everyone look insane. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to go here. Skaven or the new Beast of Chaos faction? So we're going to draw it towards the top with a thinned down. And then at the top, I'm going to do an unthinned down. So it gets darker as you go. Oh, sorry, I'm out of, out of focus. Out of focus, covered up by the image of you and me. Me. I was actually picking my nose, too. Oh, cool. Because I thought oh. I wasn't on camera. Let me a little zoom down. Yeah, so I'll, this is still wet. Everybody saying the Fallout show is fantastic. Yeah, um, I don't it's know. It's very good. Meg, I don't think you're here anymore, Meg. I'll text you to see if I should wait to watch it with you, or maybe it's a show I watch by myself. Yeah, you know, if you don't, if you're not super familiar with the, uh, 
You've said you never played the I, games. I understand the genre. Yeah. Um, and I like it's it's maybe my fav my one of my okay my favorite I hate post apoc yeah um, and the reason I hate it is because it's everyone has done it for fifteen years now it's, yeah it's done we've got it guys I super dislike post apoc that's literally just like here's the apoc yeah um, but I, I I appreciate historical it's actually called a alternate timeline yes right Fallout is alternate timeline right sort of yeah so it's weird it's it's like. If they take a moment in real history, so like the guy who created the transistor, yeah, this is like a real story. Like he was supposed to, he was supposed to take part in D Day as like during World War Two, but he like got sick or something, so okay. he didn't. So he didn't, didn't end up going. Okay. So like in this in their timeline, he goes and he ends up dying. So he never creates the transistor. Okay. And that basically changes the the course of technology from instead of going to micro technology, so micro like where we're at, right? Smartphones with like microchips and stuff. Okay. Everything just gets bigger. And so okay. everything gets bigger and everything's kind of slower. So technology still goes forward, but everything's... We start to rely on, like, atomic energy much more because everything's bigger. And that means we end up depleting our resources much faster. And that's kind of where Fallout goes. Much cooler, in my opinion, than... Oh, hey, guys, I saw a fungus in the Amazon rainforest that kills things. Oh, or, you know, like Last of Us? Or, like, hey, guys, there's zombies now. <laughs> right? Like, those are... Not as compelling. Yeah, Fallout's, uh, again, not an APOC fan, haven't played Fallout, don't really play video games, but I I know that from the visuals of how the game looks and um, just everything that I know about the game, like how it was kind of this first, like, when it first came out, it was this bizarre, almost like a blend of a third-person shooter and Final Fantasy game. Right. Well, it, the, the, well. So that's that was more the recent ones. The original game was like a classic RPG, like like D and D. You know, you're like isometric. It almost looks like here. here it would look like this when you're playing the game. Oh, you cool. Like click over here and you click over here. Oh, that. But that's like that's like Final, Fan, Final Fantasy. Final oh, Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Um, oh, like the camera angles change for the scene and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you'd like zoom in and see everyone's horrible, ugly face. Yeah, that kind of sounds like like a, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I, I think I would like I think I would like it. So I might check out the show. I'll probably see, like I said, I'll, I'll probably ask if Meg um, wants to. Wants wait. To. to. Hey, we should ask. Can anyone tell that there's a fan running? Oh Question yeah, sorry. One. Question two: Did anyone hear the super that cool crow, crow that just flew by and let scre- everyone know they were here? Screeched at everyone. Yeah, kind of curious. Uh, I'd also, be, so- I'd be down to like a, to, if if we were known as like the stream where an occasional crow. Flew by and screamed. <laughs> um, also, so also, I don't know if you know this. Fallout's kind of weird, and like wacky. Like, I know, I, I okay. know. People are saying like it's a, it's a bit of it ha- it's like a comedy. It's dark mixed, comedy, yeah, yeah, comedy mixed with action and like it's like you have this like fifties like jolly, you know, not it's not jolly, golly, golly g, yeah, 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 attitude with like. Extreme violence <laughs> is kind of the is kind of the whole thing with Fallout. Yeah. Also, the real fifties. Mm-hmm. Extreme violence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does not alter a lot of nukes actually. <laughs> a lot of nukes. Out. A lot of domestic violence. High levels of domestic violence. Yeah, a lot of PT- untreated lot, PTSD. A lot, lot of crime. Lot, lot of crime. A lot yeah. of crime. Actually, yeah, a lot, in the of, 50s. lot of crime. Uh, known uh, often, often. Uh, Looked at as rose covered. covered it was a whole war. Yeah. It was a whole war. People just leaving <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh, the Korean one, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wars forgotten. Wars. High crime rate. We destroyed this entire. Yeah. Rural crime rate too. Like, oh yeah. Like, 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 let me just murder an entire family. <laughs> oh, 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 on my way driving across Kansas, I'll stop I'll and murder st- a family. <laughs> <laughs> Typical fifties. Okay, so here's here's what I ended up doing. Here's the much darker bone. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit more to it but not a ton i kind of like where it's at honestly remember these are uh this is middle management they don't get all the flashy bits uh i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with her skin also i forgot a lock of her hair so i gotta get that i'm gonna zoom out because that's gonna be too hard to do on camera um okay so Do you want to show what you're doing? I haven't shown, we haven't shown uh, what you're doing I was, at all. I was going to get this guy finished. Okay. And then th- actually even just paste, uh, glue him, not paste him, glue him into the chariot. What I've done so far is I did the chariot's wooden floor. Now I'm doing this guy. Um, I'm almost done with him for now. Um, and I'm doing his whip. Whip it. Exactly. Um, 
Okay. So let's close this poll and let's chat a bit. Saray, what? Can you, can what did, you grab it? Yeah, now? I got it. What did you? What did you want to? Um, oh, mine was Signs of the Flame. Yours was Signs of the Flame. Signs of the Flame won. That's right. Um, people know. People know. Yeah, I think Signs of the Flame is cool. Why? Why? Uh, why stop? What? Why Signs of the Flame? Stop clicking on things. Well, no. Why? Um, yeah. Why Signs of the Flame? Because uh, I play salamanders in 40k, and those are just those are just AOS salamander guys. Yeah, if they're they like if a, they're mortal everyday people, yeah. right? They're not they're not like uh, superhumans. Yeah, yeah. So they have like the dragon. I'm not sure what animal it is. It's probably whatever the fire slayers ride. Magnadroth. Well, Magnadroth. So they have like scaly skin stuff. They're they have flaming weapons. Um, honestly, I'll probably end up getting some dark oath and some uh, some of those guys. The signs of, signs of the flame and just kind of mixing them in. Oh, fun! Yeah, mixing so you know, some in, will yeah. have like regular skins, some will have like scaly skins, but I'll paint them all in like a similar palette. To signs of the flame. Um, we we went through and kind of looked at the Warcry band. Yeah, I'll say signs of the flame have this problem that horns of Hashut have because I I actually think horns of Hashut would be a cool one too. I didn't put it up here as an option, but signs of the flame to me have this problem that horns of Hashut have, which is that uh, at least three of them uh, are I'm, the scrapper, scrappy yeah, people. Yeah, little. Kids. Yeah, and in both the Horns of a Shoot and I think the Signs of the Flame, I'm not into the scrappy people. No, you don't want the... They do look like, like yeah, like they're 16, 18, 20-year-old kids. <laughs> um, and look. they've got, like, a spear and not much else. And, uh, you know, like, if if what I was saying to you earlier was if, if, if there's two different types of Dark Oath units, yeah. and one's a little bit more elite and one's not, yeah. then it's very interesting. Because now you take those three scrappers in each one... Although you're gonna have to do converting because you're only gonna have three sculpts, right? Yeah. But you take those you know, three scrappers. Well, if I buy five, I'll. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you'll only have three. I'm saying like the scrappers. Yeah. You're gonna have the same model. Oh right, right, right. You, you're gonna have 15 models. That all look the same. That are, that that are in three sculpts, yeah. right? And also now you have another problem, which is now you now you have another number to buy, <laughs> right? Because now you have 15, <laughs> which you can't do anything. Can't with. do yeah. So like, they have that problem. Um, I, I'm not in love with the three scrappers. The signs of the flame are super cool. Five of them. Five of them are. I don't like the scrapper. Scrappy, scrappy I, I don't like the three scrappers, and they have this additional problem where there's eight, and now you're buying weird numbers. I guess. I guess if you only use the five, you could just buy ten boxes to get fifty. <laughs> At that point, though, like <laughs> now you have, and now you have two hundred points, <laughs> and now you have thirty scrappers. Now you have, that's what yeah. you actually have to do. So all of you voted for Silent of the Flame. Good thinking, but you're totally wrong. It was the wrong answer. Uh, it was the wrong one. That's also assuming they have an elite <laughs> version of Dark Oath and a non elite, which assume, we don't know. It's assuming a lot. <laughs> it's assuming a lot, and I my guess is that th that's not how Dark Oath is going. No, work. I feel like they're all an elite unwashed masses. If, if there is an elite version, you're probably going to have way less of them yeah. than the other. So it's like going the wrong way too, right? Yeah. So this is, oh look, hey look, oh cool, uh, an elite Dark Oath, he's almost as good as a Chaos Warrior. <laughs> it's like, I mean, Chaos Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Okay, alright, next. Second place is the one I picked that yeah. I want to do. Um, and, I, and I might, like one day, not yeah. anytime soon. We need to get cool armies that are different than what we have on the stream. But um, if the unmade models ever go away, which I guess they are, and come back for made to order or whatever, yeah, um, maybe a few years down the road or something, I could definitely see myself making a like chaos marauder dark oath style out of the unmade. Yeah, they're super cool. It's not normally my style, super like horror body horror. <laughs> Kind of stuff. That's really more of a Meg thing. Yeah. Uh, and maybe even just she. Maybe I could talk her into doing it and just help her with it or something. But um, the unmade to me are super cool. And they come in boxes of nine. Yeah. Super freaking annoying. Uh, yes. That's but, just about the least efficient number. Really about the least efficient. But I do have a couple thoughts on that. Okay. Okay. Thought one. First of all, you can go to eBay buy one at. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Well, I mean, may maybe not. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Second, let's say that you realize that they are actually good in um, units of 10, and like you want 10 and you don't want 20. Yeah. Um, you can get creative with your champion, you, your unit champion, maybe. Yeah, okay, fair. Um, I think there's a number of ways you could do that, um, either to have him blend in or to have him not blend in. There's yeah, just like, add her, right? Yeah, there's some... There's, she has no rules. 
there's some other there's some other person leading them. There's some right, what whatever it is, right? You can get creative with that. The third option is yeah, you just buy uh, what eight boxes. Eight boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really hope the Dark Oath is good. Yeah, yeah. So, um... But, the Unmade don't have the crappy little guy problem. They do. True. They do have crappy little guys, but the crappy little guys look cool. Well, they have, well, they have the crappy, not crappy, gigantic. They have... Madman. The, they have... Wrong. No, they don't, um... Signs of the Flame have flaming swords. What are you talking... <laughs> Signs of the Flame, really boring. Like flaming Signs sword. of the Flame? Just, are the new skate men? <laughs> the new, the, the new the, the, who are the new beasts of chaos? <laughs> who are, wait, wait a sec. <laughs> Serious? Yeah, I um, I hold on. Uh, uh, are you are you checking these models out? Un, unmade I, I, have um, yeah, they I don't have enough. three scrappers. They they all look cool, and you're right. They have the joyous one, and the blissful one. Yeah, who are like extra augmented. Right, an extra creepy looking. Yeah, um, you're pulling them up to see the scrappers. Uh, I'm U.S. English. Please. U.S. English, please, dude. dude see, they have freaking a flame samurai. Wait, wait, guy. wait, wait. Hold you, on. Wait, you the you the look them up because Madman said that I already knew. I already, yeah, I already knew. But you like, had to check and I, make sure. I look. I had to make sure. I was like, all right, maybe Madman's right. Look wait, at, wait, do they look. have three scrappers or two? Hold on, let me. We're gonna let me. Let's show people what we're, <laughs> we're yeah. looking at. Yeah, yeah. Where is he? Uh, browser. All right. Wait. Is there three scrappers or two? Two. It's like two and a half. Oh, I like that. I like that other guy actually. The guy on the right. The girl on the right. Lady on the right. With the with the saw wheel. Yeah, she's not a scrapper. She doesn't. The look top the, two are the scrappers. The top two are the scrappers. They don't like the scrappers. I also. They th don't have that dog in them. <laughs> There's also a a wizard um, who uh, looks like Tim. From Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You Dude, Shao Kahn is here. Yeah, kind of, right? That's Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. How can you not pick him? Look at that. Shao Kahn. But on the left there, Tim, right? There are those who call me Tim. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> on the left, the wizard. Oh, with this the, one? With the pole. Oh, yeah, kind of. Who are you can... who, fire, who conjure fire without flint or steel? <laughs> Um, y'all are crazy. He, no, the, they look with cool. Zwei, yeah, the flaming Zvi hand. I know. But listen, I think Madman's wrong too. But uh, y'all are crazy, y'all. But Madman also brings up a good point. Imagine a kit bashed unmade horse. Oh, you could do some cool stuff. Hey, with unmade you cow. should check out. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video, Madman. There's not. A, there's not an unmade, but there's some weird it's, freaky it's shit going. Okay, on. Okay, pull up the unmade. Pull up the unmade. Okay, okay. Let's check okay, and see Let's go how back Zach is right. And Zray is right, also, but less right than Zach. Okay, hold on. I, I, I definitely think. Um, I definitely think the unmade are. Um, I like how Saray wisely knows to search for the product, <laughs> the GW product page on Google, yeah, not on GW. Not on GW. GW. On GW. We'll never find it. Uh, I found the definition of unmade. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's the problem with Google. Yeah. G it doesn't just search GW. It actually doesn't just search. Weird. Why doesn't it just search in GW? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, he is quite big. Yeah, he's I don't think I realized huge. how big he's he was. gigantic. Uh, browser. So, but I like that he's so big. Okay, wait a minute. This just got even better. He's you're, a captain now. No, he's like a character. Yeah, you're gonna have <laughs> wait, to. Buy, wait, well, he's, he's the banner for the banner bearer. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so now you actually don't have nine. You have eight. Yeah, which and is and you use him as characters as like foot characters. Yeah, and actually, there's another one close to a foot character too. I think, right? No, mm. there's the joyous one. He's the blissful one. The big guy in the They're middle. They're all the weirdos. Who, go down a little bit, Saray. Hold on, I'm on the wrong screen. Oh, I think the joyous one is the one on the 40 mil. Who's like your captain. Who is like your uh, your sergeant or whatever. Right, so is the middle one on the 50 mil, we think? I... Or is oh, it sorry, no. I think that they're, uh, they're 20 and a half. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Let's go down. If only there was some way to figure this yeah. information out. We'll never know. No, wait, where is it? Everything's so zoomed in. I should, I could probably just zoom out, but I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, 
425, 328, 132, so and 140. So he's on a 40. Okay. I'm going to be real. I don't know. I guess I guess if you bought five kits, you could have one set of Marauder Horsemen. <laughs> oh, with these guys on yeah. stilts. Yeah. You'd have to change the base. But. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, but I actually, this is kind of a creative project. Like, you get yeah. to kind of go through and do yeah. that. Um, so so those, those two, I think, won, won out the most. Then we had some people say... Um, so Soups, Soups says uh, Tarantulas Brood. Soups Which, went to Tarantulas Brood. Apparently he was the only person who voted for it. <laughs> yeah, one, I was, yeah so there, there weren't a lot of votes. I think. We were saying, okay, Let, not, say, not good for Warcry. Yeah. Or, sorry, not good for Dark Oath. Awesome cultists for 40k. Probably the best cultists for 40k. Should we pull them up? Should yeah, we, should we yeah. make our case? Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't entirely agree with you. I do think that they could be cool for 40k. Yeah. Um, so I don't entirely agree with you. But, um, sorry, I do think they could be good for Sigmar as Dark Oath. Um, but we were kind of looking at them. We were kind of noticing some weird, some weird interesting things about them. Um... Involving like using them in yeah as chaos cultists in forty k yeah these are the best chaos cultists ever or like weird gene stealer cultists on like a on like a medieval planet yeah I, I almost want to say don't zoom in on the on the main guy zoom in on like a face we can see a little bit better that's not the main guy okay not, not this guy not uh, he's a good place to start though actually okay. so one of the things I was kind of saying about this guy is. Imagine making maybe shit. You maybe have to clip like sorry, saying clip some things off of it. Mm. But you guys remember like those Van Sar masks? Yeah, or they look like, exactly like that. Or like Infinity in yeah. Infinity, like a lot of the um the like the Pan Oceanic guys, I think, and the um the Nomads have like these multi lens masks. Yeah, um, I think you could almost make these like tarantula exoskeleton masks look metallic or look oh, like yeah. look like uh you know like ceramite armor type stuff. Yeah. Um, and then make these eyes look like lenses. You could take that cloak and you could put like a like a camo pattern on it. Yep. Imagine clipping off those swords and double pistols there. Or a chain sword, sword, even right? chain sword, right? Like, I think these guys weirdly could be super like like you 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 were saying like kind of having some high tech. Yeah. Like crude, because crude are like these like they don't have a lot of clothes on. They're kind of native. They're relying on their physiology and their evolution, but they also have like some high tech. Yeah, they also roll with like real guns. Like, right, none that are no joke. So right, right, right. So um, I, I don't know. I kind of like these guys almost as like forty k cultists. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Forty k cultists, maybe not dark oath. Well, they'd be fine for dark oath, but they're calling maybe in another setting. And and kind of nicely, they are like ten models. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you get your like I said, you get your tarantula objective markers. Yeah, which is pretty neat. Like who's not gonna pass up tarantula horde objective markers? Um, cool. Last but not least was, uh, oh, well, this was last book. Last, right. <laughs> that was last. The other one was, um, Splintered Fang. Splintered Fang. That was the one you put on. Yeah. They're cool, too. Um, I think they, and actually, we, we had them at Titan set. We bought them for this very reason, was to make Alpha Legion cultists. Yeah. Yeah. To have, like, that kind of aqua, that kind of watery theme. Yeah. Um, Splintered Fang. So, they're, so they're here's, cool. here's what I'm thinking. We're, we're going to talk about this in a, in a second. Um. There's, uh, w w there's, what was that, Twilight? There's Team Edward and Team Jacob? Yes. Are you Team Bellacor or Team Archeon? That's, 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 we're going to talk about that kind of right now. Yeah. Because, looking at these, I, I don't think they would make great Dark Oath. They have too much armor. They, right? Yeah. But they would make great Legionnaires. Legionnaires, yeah, yeah. yeah. They do make really good, le I think they would be good yeah. Legionnaires, you're right. Because uh, legionnaires are like slightly more armored, and they're the ones who hang out with Bellicor yeah. as opposed to Archeon. Yeah. And they're kind of like, ah, we're gonna usurp Archeon one day. Yeah. So you know, Archeon has his Conan the Barbarian guys, um, whereas Bellicor has like his gladiators. Uh, uh, Bellicor is like the ones in the middle. Yeah. Archeon has like the super armored dudes, and then like the. And then like the unarmored, the unwashed, unwashed, unwashed masses, masses you know, the plebes. Yeah. And then in the middle, you've got these guys. Yeah. Uh, and well, not technically these guys, but people who look awfully similar to this. Yeah, I do think you're right. I think they really would make good marauders. Yeah. Um, or legionnaires. Legionnaires. And you said you like the legionnaire kit. I really like the legionnaire yeah, kit. In I, fact, I, I do too. 
Um, I'm doing a cavalry army that's like, okay, Eternus is kind of with Bellacor, but Abraxia's like, definitely with Archeon, and I like Archeon more than I like Eternus. Uh, sorry, I like Abraxia more than I like Eternus. So I'm kind of conflicted because instead okay. of going Dark Oath, I could go Legionnaires. Yeah, Archeon, or um, Eternus and Abraxia both infinitely cooler than Bellacor and Archeon. Archeon. Yeah. yeah, the second hands are much cooler. Those much cooler. The second in commands. Um, you and I were saying, we don't. you and I don't really love the Archeon kit. I, I don't like the model. Yeah, um, and I, I I don't really love... Archeon's lore is fine. Bellacor, kind of the same. Bellacor kit's super cool. Yeah, Bellacor kit's super cool. He's just a turd. His rules are not great. His rules are disappointing, and um, even if I could be fine with that, which I think I could, because um, he, his rules are, are not great, but they're not gosh awful. No. They're like, they're hanging in there. Um, but still, he's just such a turd, and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my word for I him. Can't, I can't get behind Archeon because he's such a turd. Yeah, no Bellacor. Yeah, Ar sorry Bellacor. Ar Archeon is like, I don't know. Archeon's okay. Archeon was cooler when Dorgar was a horse. When mm. Dorgar was a horse. Yeah, instead of a freaking three-headed dragon thing. You're mm -hmm. always upset about Slanesh not being on there too. I think. Yeah, I mean they have a lore reason, but come on. It was when Slash was... <laughs> in jail. In jail. Right, in elf jail. Yeah. Alright, sorry, we missed them. So I heard, I seen uh, I Am Wrong, apparently. I don't know what that's about. A lot of you are wrong, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. We also had a member chat um, that we want to read. Yeah. From Saul. Saul. Saul says, thanks, Saul. Lab Mandrill for eight months. Hey. Thank you, uh, Saul. We appreciate your uh, your support over eight months. Pro Acrylic Signature Series based on you. Which colors are in yours? Thank you for the help in my <laughs> hobby journey. Damn you, Saray. I have an ink addiction. Aren't inks awesome? Inks, inks are, are so inks good. Inks are awesome. You helped me get a little bit of an ink. I, I wouldn't say addiction, but uh, I was ink curious ink. and took the plunge deeper. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. It is. Um, hey, have you those inks you ordered that you were like obsessed with that you had to buy with like a weird credit system? Did you ever get those? Uh, yeah, that'll be in tomorrow's video. Oh, fun. Okay, yeah. fun. Um, yeah. Are you going to show people how to buy them with a weird... With <laughs> yeah, a weird... Do a whole tutorial. tutorial. All right, guys, this is how you buy enamel from... Enamel washes from this one guy. Um, yeah. Uh, you should watch tomorrow's video, but the, 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 the quick rundown is... They're pretty great. They are not good for what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I have a project in mind that will take advantage of what they're good at. It was not this, so I and ended up... You, you know, that happens, yeah. right? We, we get excited about a product, and we, we try to shoehorn it into a project. Yeah, and it just doesn't It doesn't work. always work. Yeah, that happens. Okay. Um, what Pro Acrylic Series, based on you... Can I, can I say something about this first? <laughs> oh, God. We're never getting Pro Acrylic Series now. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead, um, Zach. No, we're not, because I... Um, and kudos to the people who have Pro Acrylic Series. I like, I think I like everybody I know who has a Pro Acrylic Series. I hate this. <laughs> I this is kind of like it's kind of like the um, the the guy who made Vanta Black. Uh huh. Um, and then like tried to copyright it. Yeah. I'm like that guy who then made the other one and like put up a website where you have to agree to not be him. Stuart Semple. Yeah. I'm kind of like page we use often. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. I'm kind of like. Um, I don't know. Did I really come up with warm white? <laughs> did I really come up with jade? Why no. am I? Why am I associated with jade? Dark it's just, jade. It's your signature. It's like what is what is your go to? Is what it's supposed to be about. I mean, my go to is an existing color. Yeah, so <laughs> my go to is uh, my go to is is Iraqi sand. I know. I'm out. not. I'm not uh, out in the bushes with a mortar and pestle, yeah. smashing berries to make a paint and just being like, this paint is great. I wish Pro Acrylic made it so I didn't have to make my own. So um, I like Pro Acrylic paints. I like the people who have Pro Acrylic paint lines. Yeah. I hate the idea of naming a paint line in a color for or after a person. Um, I probably, turns out, just not a good business person. <laughs> All right, but now you have to answer this question. Do, we have to do it, though. We okay, what would, I, what would, I, what would your colors you, be? Why don't you start? You've had time to think while I ranted. Um... So the whole idea behind the signature series, it's like they ask them like, "What's a paint color that you would use all the time that would be like a regular 
thing for mm-hmm. you. Yeah. That would, you know, so that's why you... But, like, no, no offense to these people, that's why you kind of end up with kind of boring colors. Right? Because a lot of these colors are used to, to, to like, mix into other colors. Right? So that's right. why you see, like, jades and you see... Like warm, I, warm, warm white, bright white, or something like that. Yeah. Look, I would go completely out of left field and say, like, yeah, I totally would use all these colors all the time, and we just do hobby collab colors. Yeah. Like the, I would want the most saturated version of all these colors. Yeah, yeah. But gaudy, just ga- like, like yeah, the most saturated cyan ink you could possibly make, like almost fluorescent. It's so oh, saturated. Oh, and, and inks. Yeah, yeah. yeah and they have to I'm be with inks. You. This is what I want: cyan, pink, and yellow. Okay, you can have one, I can have one, and yeah. Meg can have one. Yeah. And then Brett can have the medium. That yeah. seems like a Brett. Yeah. <laughs> I would go with yellow, obviously, because of my salamanders. You want yellow, yeah. I'll take blue, because I'm a boy, yeah. and Meg can have pink. Because <laughs> she's a girl. Because she's a girl. <laughs> that's actually the right answer, I think. Yeah, that's that's what we would do. Um, um, that's fair, I think. I'm trying to think of colors that... Or, you know what, I take one for the team. No one has made a good... Well, that's, sorry. that's not true. Not Not nobody. It's hard to find a good orange, so maybe an orange. It, it is hard. To, it is hard to find a yeah. good orange. Yeah. Um, so maybe I, an I, I enjoy AK cadmium red. Not orange. It's red. It's not. It, but it is. <laughs> no, orange. I, I know. As you know, AK has a problem with uh, AK and yeah. They like, name their color. It's like blue, and you're looking at a brown bottle. And you're like, <laughs> tell me, where is this blue? <laughs> it's it's called. This a, is matte varnish. No, mid, that's satin. <laughs> mid, midnight brown, and it's 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 or midnight blue, and it's like it's like brown. Yeah. You're like, what is this? What are they doing in Spain? Hey, look, they make some some of the best mini painters come out of Spain. I clearly, know they clearly, do. Clearly, clearly I know, and AK paints up. great. I love it. I just the names are so wildly wrong. At that point, I under like like Incubi Darkness makes more sense than <laughs> the, the way AK names their paint sometimes. Um, but hey, Saul, we appreciate you being a member for that long. Yeah. I hope that was a good answer. That is what I would answer. Um, uh, otherwise, I don't know. I do have a funny story. She's not here right now. I do have a funny Meg story. I think we've talked about this before. One time Meg was trying to mix her own paint. This <laughs> is when she was pretty new to painting miniatures, although she had gone to art school for stuff like this. But um, And she just kept mixing all these colors and not being able to get what she wanted, and she got really angry and like threw the bottle and like took the rest of the night off. And I saved the bottle. Uh-huh. And I named it Meg Tantrum Green, and we still have it. <laughs> we should use it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Um, it's it's a green. It's it has orange in it. It's uh-huh. a green, orange, blues. Huh. It's really weird. I mean, it doesn't look like all those colors. It looks like a it looks like a warm greenish blue. Interesting. Yeah, um, I can I can I can grab it. Let's see if it's, let's see if I can yeah. find it quick. Yeah, I'll I'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Um. Thank you, Hamsterdam, for eight months. Says, hey, been, been a minute. Wanted to see how you guys are feeling about Old World. Jumping in or giving it a pass? Zach, I know you're giving it a pass. I'm giving it a pass. Um, sorry, let me wait till I'm yep. here. Um, Hamsterdam, I'm giving Old World a pass. It's not a need to gripe against Old World. It's not super... Or, I, 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 I'm, I'm super excited for people to get to play with their old models. Yeah. Um, I... Don't really. I'm not super excited for Rank and Flank. Yeah. Um, I played Rank and Flank when I was a kid. I played Fantasy, and I remember seeing 40k for the first time and being like, "Oh man, that looks so much cooler." Like Squad looks so much cooler than Rank and Flank. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I it's not really my thing. Um. But I, I I'm I'm happy that people are getting to to play it. Yeah. Um, you know... There's a lot of this left, too. I'm kind of in the... Well, I went, I'm in a similar boat in that I'm probably not going to join in, at least currently. Um, for me, I'm, like, very new. Not, not very new, but relatively new to the hobby. Like, I have no nostalgia for the old world, right? Like, I, I didn't have... My first... I bought my first model in 2019. So, yeah. um, you know, it's not like a thing for me also i'm really shallow and only like new stuff <laughs> yeah uh, I, i'm pretty shallow and only like new stuff too um, i get i get that one now that being said um if they release a i'm not opposed to buying the new models at all um they talked about doing uh kislev and cafe mm-hmm. which is like uh eastern europe and like uh china like yeah, th- uh, yeah, China, Chinese, ancient Chinese um, yeah, fantasy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would not be opposed to buying some of those models. 
yeah. and incorporating them somehow. If they make Goblin Wolf Riders... Well, uh, there, there are Goblin Wolf Riders in Sigmar. Uh, new ones. <laughs> no, they're, they're new. Oh, are they? Oh. Yeah. Oh. It, wait, you don't know about the, the controversy I I, of the Goblin Wolf Riders in I, Sigmar? Oh, no. Is that because they're not bringing them to Old World? No. It, so, well, maybe. I'm sure... Well, yeah, I don't know about that. Yes, mate, probably also. But um, they released basically this one... So there's Spider Fang stuff. Yeah. There's Troll stuff. And there's Night Goblin stuff, which includes the Squakes. Yeah. They released one unit that has this other term, Gitz Mob, it's uh-huh. called. And they have, like, different lore, and they're not part of any of the three of them. Yeah, so are they, that's... But they have no rules. They have, Like, there's nothing... They're called Snarlfang Riders, and this is what they look like, and they're very new. Yeah, okay, I thought... They that, came out, like, two, two, three years ago. Okay, so this is... I was saying that I think that these are actually meant to be for Old World. And something weird happened? And well, I think they're going to say you can use these for Old World, even though... They said, hey, we're not letting you use it. There's no crossover, right? It was, oh, it was apparently see. something that happened. But they've mentioned in... It's like, even though I'm not planning on playing the Old World, apparently I follow it pretty closely. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at the map for Old World, there is um, a tribe of... Uh, sorry, someone's going to have to remind me what they're called. It's the, it's the goblin hordes, or like Mongolian-style nomadic hordes of... Wolf riding goblins. I mean, that's exactly what this guy that came out for Sigmar looks like. Yeah, so I, I think people. Yeah, I, you might be right. There might have been a weird. I wonder if there's some kind of weird issue with like the model was made for a while, and they were like, "Oh, old world's not happening yet. Let's release it anyway." in Sigmar, because it has like there is an Underworlds band also that is from this, um, from this. Uh, sorry, this. What do you want to call it? This yeah. fa- this sub faction of the goblins. Um, but then when the new book came out, that people were like, "Oh, we're getting Wolf Riders." I guess we'll get like a whole new like subgenre, right? Yeah. Of goblins, of 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 gloom spike uh, But then we didn't. We got the one unit. Doesn't synergize with any faction, any sub faction in the army or anything. Yeah. Um. Not not good enough to take. Yeah. Just just a, just a bizarre flop of. Of a release. Yeah. Um, that doesn't seem to blend with anything going on in the rest of the book. Yeah, it's just kind of a weird outlier, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe maybe you're right, Saray. Maybe there is something up with, um, like, its its release history, for lack yeah. of a better word. Yeah. So, yeah, there's... I'm sure that those will be, like, uh, just use these for AOS uh, Old World. And I'm also kind of bummed, like, sorry, I, I, I just mentioned the Kislev and Cathay thing, but, like, apparently that's not happening anymore. I've brought this up before, that's, like, such a weird thing for me. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out and wait for Old World version 2. Yeah, same. And um, I also think a lot of people were being like, oh, well, it's because of China and Russia. No, it's... I, I genuinely doubt that. Yeah. Maybe Russia? But the, I, yeah, because there's, like, some weird... They're part of the part of the uh, Kislev faction thing is like, well, there's like, oh, there's we're we're taking over the territories of these ethnic people because they're actually they actually want to be Kislevites, so right, we're just right. gonna incorporate them because they clearly want you know. So yeah, it's like, not, uh, kind of maybe not little, subtle, maybe a little too close to home yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Um. I, I, it's hard for me to wrap my head around them being like, oh, I I don't know, because China, because some... Yeah, that, that, that one is where, where that, I'm like, that's not a thing. That doesn't make quite They did a whole... Sense. You know, that doesn't make sense. Not that every country doesn't have some dirty laundry, but like, I, I, don't, I don't know what that yeah. would be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where is Dreadful Visage? Uh, oh, it might uh, be, you I know, it. it might... I got oh. It. oh. I got oh. it. Oh. I got it. Um... <clears throat> Ham Sam, great to hear from you. Um, I'm curious if you're going to any a- curious ba- question back at you. You going to any AOS events in the upcoming year? I'm going to. I will be going to three Southern California AOS events oh, wow. in in calendar year 2024. Nice. So, um, if you're going to any of those, I will see you. Okay, I have a question. It's all the old town throwdown ones. Yes. Um, not SoCal Open. Maybe SoCal Open. No, probably not. I have a question about um, war paint. War paint. Oh, okay. Meg has done war paint on stream, and I believe it was with you. 
Okay, I do war paint on a bunch of my models. Okay, I'll ask you then. Uh, what's the process for it? I want to put some potentially some red war paint on here. Oh, okay. So hmm, red's interesting. So what I would do or blue, blue's fine too. Uh, so what the way I do it, I can just tell you the way I do it. Yeah. Is um like here. Uh, do you have a blue paint? No. Okay, here I'll show you. Maybe I'll use Meg's gross green. <laughs> uh, Meg tantrum yeah. green. Pretty much what I do is like, you can look at pictures of war paint. Um, yeah. A really good. Um, like Hollywood, Braveheart, War <laughs> no, no, um, the New World is the movie with Colin Farrell in uh -huh. it, and Christian Bale. Um, the war paint on the uh, Native American um, tribes is super cool. Okay. Um, but what you do is you um, you take like the wash of the same color, uh -huh. um, and you could, I guess you could just make a wash with even just water, yeah. like please, and you you put like that big of a of a stroke, uh -huh. and then you take like the next color, and you just go inside of it. So in other oh, words, see, it kind of looks like it's like fading out, to fading the... out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting. Nothing super interesting here. I'm trying to do some stuff on the cloak. I'm gonna come back to the uh, war paint. These aren't good color combos. This is like the space wolf color with Drakenoff nightshade. All right. See you, Liberty. That doesn't really make sense. But yeah, something like that. See you later, Liberty. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do right here. I'm painting a giant trim chaos star on the front of this oh, uh, God. caravan. No trim. We need to get rid of trim. I want my chaos to have no trim and way less spikes. No trim, less spikes. Okay. This is my this is my platform for chaos. Um, let's see where. Have, wow, man, time goes fast. Oh, uh, is it time to do our next segment? Or well, anything? you know, we haven't actually looked at the dark oath kit. Oh yeah, we should do that. Sorry, let me just finish this. That's okay. Um, I can actually, actually I can also do it. See. Um. We haven't looked at the dark oath kit, nor. Did, have we even talked about any of the, the fun rules we want to maybe chat about? Um, okay, you the browser. Actually, what I can't do is the browser. Though, All so right, I mean. gotcha. Uh, I can do that. There we go. Okay, what I was saying is... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I guess I kind of can, but... Uh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Where yeah. We did this one? We're we did that. One. So the kit, uh, this article uh, reads about the... Just like customization and yeah, um, how are you feeling about these kits? Yes, I want Primaris Slaves to Darkness, please. Uh, I mean, that kind of already happened. We, yeah, they just, didn't the, the, make a, they just didn't make a big deal about well, it. Well, also the problem is they added more spikes and more significantly more, way more significantly spikes and more. way more trim. They went the opposite direction. Yeah. Have you seen Varengard? Dear God, what what were they thinking? All right. Let's just talk some... This is a hobby channel. This, this is what we're about. All right. What are you going with? Are you going naked face, full mask, or the guy from Mad Max? Full mask. Full That's mask. The top right? Yeah, top right. Top right, yeah. I'm going half mask. Uh, what's his name from Mad Max, a new Mad Max? Um, I forget his name. Mediocre, that guy. Uh, I forget, yeah. Yeah, like the, the main, main bad like, guy. He looks like a clown. The main bad guy. Yeah, guy. he looks like he's from... Half he's, mask where? Bottom right. Oh, uh, wait, it's not actually a half mask, but now that you say half it mask. Is, it is a half mask. What are you talking about? Oh, Immortal, uh... Immortan Joe, Immortan thank you. Immortan Joe, yeah. I'm going with Immortan Joe. Um, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> Immortan Joe look is cool. They're all pretty cool, but I do like the top mask the most. I also like all the different horse masks. Masks. I do think I like the, no. the one that isn't the horn more, though. I'm making oh, finally yeah, get a yeah. unicorn, though. yeah. Uh, I also like the Eye of Horus. I appreciate that as someone who uses an Eye of Horus on... <laughs> where? Where is it? On his uh, little... Uh, ep epaulet? What the, the little thing. The little armor I, plate. That, I, I love how when I'm trying to figure out where the Eye of Horus is, you're like... Yeah, I'll just the epaulet? The ep like like the, I know what the F that is. You know, the little, uh, little uh, armor plate. Right here. 
look at his look at his peck and then look at the silver metal plate below it. This right here. Where's the mouse cursor? Are you messing with me right now? It's on here. Uh, here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, at first I thought that was just like a like a damage, like just damage. No, that's an eye. That's for real. I here. We'll zoom in for eye for us right here. There we go. Nice. I'm here for that. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going no spike. Personally, on, on the face, I yeah. like no spike a little bit more. I like no spike. The more. spike makes it gives like a rhino look though. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this fun fact. Horses closest related relative, the rhinoceros. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, so chat, kinda... put in chat, what are you guys thinking? Horn, no horn, and a Morton Joe mask or no? Do they have weapon options? I didn't, I didn't see any weapon options. Also, something I've been doing with all my chaos is changing their weapons. You have been, yeah. yeah. In fact, this, yeah, I think I mentioned that this lady has an irregular axe. An irregular axe. Yeah, instead of a weird, stupid club. I love that you call it an irregular axe. All right, this guy's the star of the show, oh, is yeah. he not? First off, right out of the gate, where's my demon prince that looks like this? For real. 40K players, this is what every demon prince in 40K is going to yeah. start looking like. Strap some there. wings on him. It's got its own unit in Sigmar, so people are going to be like, uh. And if he's cool and his rules are good, <laughs> everyone's going to have him anyway. Um, and his rules do kind of look good right out of the gate yeah. also, but... Um, in 40k, as far as 40k goes, yeah, put some, take the Demon Prince kit, do whatever you want with the rest of it, take his wings, put it on this guy. Yeah. That's the Demon Prince I wanted. There Same base size, too. Good yep. tactical rock. Oh, yeah, good tactical rock. Horrible face. All right. Resist what, what? giving him a Space Marine shoulder <laughs> pad. God, that's a, I've been on this rant many times. <laughs> All right, sorry, I cut you off, sorry. What were you going to say? What, what, which face are you going with? Oh, um... Mandrill lip flip? Or... Horns... That's... the That actually just kind of looks like a troll. The, are the horns the different, too? Uh, can, can you mix and match horns and faces? I think, I think you can. Because I'll be honest, I, I like both faces. I like troll face, if I'm honest. But I also let's, do let's like do lip little flip. Zoomy. Uh, looks like you can change it. Because here's his horns, right? Here's those horns. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I like both horns. I like both... Faces. Faces. This is, uh, I, I will say, uh, t talk to me folks at home. What what models that have come out in 2024 mm -hmm. are better than this model? Abra right? Abraxia. Abraxia. <laughs> it's it's close. It's close. Uh, for me, I, I guess I know, I, I think I get raked over the coasters, but... Uh, the Adelato crew riding the Axolotl. Uh, okay. Yeah, you liked him too, right? Yeah. yeah. What is that, what is that called? The crew, the crew, uh, guy riding the dinosaur. Yeah. Riding the Axolotl. 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 He has an Adelato and he's riding an Axolotl. Axolotl. It's like his model was meant for Brett, literally. Um. I mean, this is, I, I don't know. It's close though. This is up there. I'm trying to think what, what has come out in this year. That was just like, holy wowie wow. And this guy is... Killing it. Killing it. I like the, the derpy troll face. Yes. That's how you do a derpy face. You yeah. want to do it, <sighs> not the demon. Oh, the lip flip is so gross. I like the lip flip, too. It's disgusting. I love oh, it. Usheron. That's a good call, Seuss. But I, I don't think so. I... I'm not as in love with the Usheron model as... Uh, Sean's actually really good. Him and um, the Judge, people love both of those. But I, I think that, that, for me, this guy tickles my fancy more than either of those. I also love Crethusa. Um, I think her model's super dope. But I still think this guy beats... Yeah. Beats, beats her. I think, I, I think I'm saying Abraxia. I, I would need to look again. I'm saying Abraxia, but that might just be because I want Abraxia for my army. Same. Like, I don't want this guy because I... Well, yeah. I, 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 no, I will get yeah. this guy. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, put this guy in this army. But, like, he's just too cool not to have. Yeah. But, um, no, like, I love Usheron. I love uh, Krathusa. I love both their models. Belthanos. Like, uh, Belthanos might have been last year. Yeah. Um, calendar year 2023. I can't quite remember, but... Like, I love both of them, but I'm not sure they're actually quite as cool as this guy. All right. This guy turns out to be super popular. 
Do we get a winged wilder fiend in the future? I don't know. It doesn't quite. It wouldn't quite fit, right? Well, what we found out about this thing when we read its lore is that it's not like a monster that has been co-opted into chaos. It used to be a person. Yeah, it's it's almost like a chaos spawn. It's it's kind of like a chaos spawn, and it seems like it's a curse to become one of these. Yes, but you're also still like protecting your tribe. Yeah, and unlike Chaos Spawn, which like seemed to the, the, the current lore is like, yeah, yeah here, here's a, here here's a gibbering mess for you guys yeah. to deal with. You get this thing, which apparently is actually like cool. Yeah, yeah, this model. Maybe not cool. a. Maybe you wanted to become a demon prince, and that's not going to happen now. But yeah, you, you don't worry. Cool, at least you look cooler than you a can. Demon you prince. can flip your lip, which is pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then these guys. These are your guys. These are. This is what I was waiting for. You really were. I kept saying, uh, oh man, I, I really don't want to have to buy Chaos Marauders. Um, look, the GW came out and said, I got you. Um, what do you think of these guys? Are awesome. They, they're they, great. They're everything you wanted? They're exactly what I wanted. Maybe, no, it's, 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 I couldn't, I'm looking at them and it's like, uh, I don't want to spend all this time painting a 110 point model, but honestly, any less detail would have been bad too, so... Maybe they could have exactly. just... Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, I really, really like these. Um, just as a standard. Yeah, you can't really do... That That, that whole, like... I'm kind of with you, right? That whole, like, oh my god, I've got to paint this much yeah. of time and effort and these models that th th aren't that many points and are going to get picked up off the battlefield. Yeah. Like, oh, here's here's a 1d3 plus 3 mortal wounds. Oh, four of them are dead. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, I mean that math doesn't add up, but still, like the point is that <laughs> yeah. you're gonna lose them. It's yeah. gonna happen, okay? But you, I don't know. You can't really think that way. You gotta, you have to separate the coolness of the hobby from what might happen in the game. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, if it's really bad, if the unit's really, really bad, just don't get it until it's better. I don't know. Yeah. Or get it and paint it because you love it. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm getting these and painting them because it's what I want. It's thematic to my army. So. Yeah. You literally, you could almost care less. Uh, yeah. Couldn't care less what the rules are. You literally need horses to run up and stand in a place. Yeah, and exactly. It's like someone's got to take the charge. Take <laughs> take a charge or get uh, get an objective. Steal, steal objective or, or yeah, whatever, right? Uh, and then these are the hand, these are the foot guys. How are you feeling about these? So these are the guys I'm saying you could replace or supplement and add in with Warcry bands. Yeah. Signs of the storm, flame. <laughs> what signs of the storm? Oh, that's the Stormcast Eternal. Yeah. Faction. Yeah. <laughs> Signs of the Flame, I could see mixed in here. Especially, you could paint it and make it work. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And a little bit. So, of... for example, the, um, what are they called? The Fug Free Guild Fusiliers. Yeah. Like, every, like, f four of them has a torch. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. You could basically have, like, the Signs of the Flame be like, yeah, we're, we're like, the fire bearers. Yeah. Right? And you could paint them in, like, a lava set. You could be like, yeah, my, sub my Dark Oath are, like, Low key pyromania. Yeah, right? <laughs> and so they have these fire. guys in the squad that They're are kind like, of into fire. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like fire is pretty god agnostic too. My army's like pretty undivided, so yeah, yeah. just classic, just some fire. They're just, stuff. They're just into fire. It's it's just it, it it destroys order. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty I pretty. I like them, and then they say like, "Hey, look, yeah, they're like marauders." I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now you don't like those guys on the right. I don't like I don't like any of these. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think anybody does. No, I don't like any of these. Uh, the, uh, you know, you notice they show them on square bases. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> they're like yeah, totally. Guys, look, we, we didn't put them in legends. You guys but, like this crap? There's a game for you. Yeah, yeah um, cool. I, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you got. I'm glad these came out. So you you were asking. You're like, man, I hope these come out. I hope these come out. And they came out pretty lickety split. Yeah, look at this old guy. The old man over there. Yeah. it's good. The lore and, and kind of information and short stories around Dark Oath and around Chaos People is really compelling. It's 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 not like we're evil, we're bad. No, they're like, these gods are going to screw us. We, should, um, we yeah. should probably like be cool with them. And a lot of them also were like, Sigmar screwed us. Yeah. They're like, Sigmar made, made these little cities, and it's like, you gotta be you got to be in the city. Yeah. This guy's a real jerk. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be a you gotta be an urban elite <laughs> to join Sigmar. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm also, hitting a little close to home. Yeah. 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 Also gonna say, <laughs> look, 
there's a non-zero chance I just go with Legionnaires, though. You mean... It, Look, I don't like Bellacor, but, I mean, if I don't... These are the existing... What are these? These are Legionnaires. Are they? Yeah. Are they new? Yeah. When did they come out? Uh, they're Warcry. They're Warcry. But they didn't get Legends. They didn't get Legends. Okay. Yeah, you know what I think? I've only ever actually seen the f the the lead guy yeah. in, in the Slaves of Darkness book. Okay. Like, I see Legionnaires over there, and I'm like, oh, cool. Now, when you say you're going to go with them, like, what are you going to... You're going to use them as Legionnaires, or what are you going to use yeah, them Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what is my cheap crap infantry going to be. Or my... Yeah, what's my crap infantry going to be? Am I going to go Legionnaires, or am I going to go... You're going to do the yeah, KSE Darko. Yeah, am I, yeah, am I going yeah. Conan the Barbarian, or am I going... Well, they, they might both have rules that you also are just genuinely yeah. interested in, right? Like like Legionnaires, when when, they're, when the Index comes out and everything, you might be like, oh, yeah, they, they, they're like, they're probably going to synergize offensively way worse yeah. than the, the scrappy dudes, than yeah. the Dark Oath dudes. But they, they have armor. They yeah. look like they should have a four up. So it might be beneficial to just have a unit of how many come in here? It looks like eight. Yeah. Yeah. So that's weird. Eight dudes, yeah, who sit on an objective, and it can be kind of tough. Are they two? Maybe they're one wound. They're probably one wound. They're, they're one wound. They're they're not very. They're they're crap infantry. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know, I have Eternus. He currently, at least, uh, synergizes well with them. Um, he kind of, at least visually, kind of works with Varengard. Yeah, because he was a Varengard. Um, so, so what I'm describing, though, real quick, Saray, is yeah. literally how people use Jade Obelisk currently in Zinch. Yeah. Like, um, you have the Karolite, the guys you've been painting. Kar Kar yeah, Karak Acolytes. Karak Acolytes. They're, like, they disappear to a stiff breeze. Yeah. And then for, and they're, like, 90 or something. Mm -hmm. And then for 230, you have 10 pink horrors. Yeah. And then in the middle, at like 130 or 140, I think they're like a, maybe 10 points more or so than they should be currently, but like, is Jade Obelisk, who basically have like a 4 pin Vaughn. Yeah. And are like, don't do that much offensively, but like, you you don't want to sit tw 10 pink horrors on an objective, it's a waste of pink horrors. Yeah, exactly. You can't count on Acolytes on an objective, because they'll just, somebody can shoot them off, like Fusiliers could shoot them off. Yeah. So you end up with this, like, you end up with Jade Obelisk, which is like, oh, I gotta go over there and deal with them. Meanwhile, the Zinch player hasn't spent too many points on it, right? So yeah. like, rules-wise, they occupy kind of... They'd be cool to see Legionnaires uh, occupy such a, a space. A new, a new spot, right? Like, yeah, you that, want a spot for Dark Oath, you want a spot for Legionnaires. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that would be for them, but... Not unless they got, like, you know, maybe they bump their armor up. A feel-no-pain, an armor, a, a perk to sitting on an objective... Yeah, um, every you know, legionnaires are should be conquerors, right? So they should have maybe some, they're like more offensively, maybe or maybe just better when they're on an objective or near an objective or something. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, we shall see. <laughs> um, hey, we are like cruising through today's episode. We should do some fan stuff. Okay, yeah. Devin and Megan did not do fan stuff on Sunday. They did a, uh, a um, out of sequence critique. Out of sequence critique. Um, so, Serena, so I thought we would go back and cover some fan stuff yeah. that got missed. Um, Sweet. Let's there's, do that. there's kind of a lot. And we're starting off today, I think, with um, a, a Brad. This is our Brad. Our Brad. Our Brad. Our Brad has um, uh, cranked out a ton of Sylvaneth, um, you, who you might be seeing on the channel soon. Hint, hint. Probably you guys could figure that one out. <laughs> um, and yeah, so Brad has cranked out his. Uh, a bunch of cool Sylvanas stuff. Here's his Belthanos. Brad's a great painter, by He's the way. He's very good. Uh, great army painter. Uh, here's his Belthanos. Brad also does really great bases. We hope to get Brad on the hobby stream one time soon. Um, uh, the Wednesday slot is very hard, is, is near, nigh impossible for him to, to hit. Yeah. So um, he'll have to come on a Sunday, probably. One of the things Brad does is, and I don't know how much he's done this with the Sylvanath army, is he does a lot of eBay buys yeah. of things, like big lots. And then he'll he'll start that way. So he'll start by buying, say, for example, two thousand points right out of the gate of like second edition Sylvaneth. Right. Then he'll buy the new stuff and he'll kind of match the color scheme. And he almost always redoes the bases. Yeah. And he he does pretty. You can see he does pretty heavy basing here. Um, 
uh, which looks great. Lots of tufts, which a I'm a big tufts, big fan. Of, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so super super good job for Brad. You're probably going to be seeing this army on stream sometime soon. Hopefully. So get excited. All right, sorry, I can switch. I can move as long here. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, no, okay. I got some wash that's. Uh... Oh, is this soy simmer? Um, I have the actually. Let me see. <laughs> It doesn't show us the name of the person. I, I had these. Um, let me pull them up, actually. Okay, yeah. There's over... <laughs> yeah, it's super annoying with these double screen. Yeah. Um, okay, downloads. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Hobby stream, fan. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is... I'm going to actually just do an icon view so I can see... <laughs> Okay, this is Soy Simmer. Yeah, I was right. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, he's got some non-metallic metal going on. Nice. I think, yeah. And then he's, right? Yeah. And then he's got, like, he's also done, like, a very painterly. No, that's metallic. Oh, it is metallic. Yeah. Painterly, very nice painterly on the, on the, the, the Griff Charger. Yeah. Thing. Very nice. Yeah. What is this model? Uh, I actually don't know. Griff Charger? Mm, I don't know. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, super cool stuff. Thanks, Soy Simmer. Um, oh, okay. This was uh, Ira, Ira, Aria, Ar uh, Ira, Ira, um, and uh, these are um, dark, dark elves. Dark elves, yeah, and, and real dark and elves. For, not <laughs> yeah, and on round bases. Yeah, uh, there's a freehand banner there. Yeah, this that freehand is amazing. I think this was her. Uh, I think this was their first post. Yeah, um, and it's incredible. Yeah, now. Um, you can see the picture in the Discord. There's actually, like, more of these. Yeah. Um, but I had to clip it because it was, like, a very long picture. There's, like, a second squad. I really love the colors. Yeah, really this, cool. This color, these colors remind me of... Um, uh, we're all nerds, so we're all going to know this picture. Who was the... It's, it's like, very Ravenloft. D&D Ravenloft. Like, oh, all the Ravenloft. That. Like, who's the, the knight guy? Not Strahd. Strahd's the vampire. That's the vampire. Yeah, he's cool. What's the the knight who's super cool? He has like I don't know. I never. He has like campaign. almost like that that like cylindrical helmet. But these colors right here are just like this is the color of Ravenloft. Like all of their books were this color. All of the iconography and artwork was this color. Um, like I, I, I it's, it's yeah, super, super cool. cool, super cool. Um, does anybody remember the name of that? Who, the guy I'm talking about? You're talking about Driss, are you? No, no, no. It's a Ravenloft guy. Not Strahd, but the other main Ravenloft character. Oh, I don't know, man. I never, like I said, I never finished that campaign. <laughs> okay, this is this is Chris um, working on his Bone Reapers. Very Th nice. This is the... Um, I think he's Underworld's guy. Um, Lord Soth. That's right. Thanks, Cody. Yeah. Um, Lord Soth. Super cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, Chris working on cranking out Bone Reapers. Loving this, Chris. Uh, nice, like his. Is that a banner he's carrying? Or this, this is a super cool model. Good yeah. Candles. I like the candles. The yeah, highlights under, on the that candles. That gold skeleton thing is awesome. Like, yeah. What's going on? Yeah. This is nice. Sick heads too. The banner, the tablet he has is very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice work, Chris. Um, this is from Westy. Westy. Yeah. Some little little not land raiders. Uh, it's a table. Is it Goliaths? No. I think Goli are they the little remote? Con Actually, maybe they're not little. Maybe they're the standard thirty-two mil size Goliaths. They're like the little things oh, that drive yeah, up the, and they blow up. Like Brett has control. those. Um, oh, are those called Goliaths? I think so. No, they have a different name. Is that their name? I, maybe you're I'm right. pretty sure. It's yeah, Bre Brett has these. Um, in ninth ed, I used to play against them a lot. They're a total pain in the butt. Because you, you kind of, like, overcompensate for what they might be able to do. Yeah, and it's usually not much. And it's but. usually not much, right. But you have to deal with it because it could be a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are cool. I love kind of the wild, different, like, oh, suddenly it's red and white stripe. Oh, suddenly it's teal. Oh, it's, there's black and white dot thing going on. Um, yeah. Yes, very cool. <laughs> oh, here we go. Rudy, uh... Rudy has graffitied his train with the names of some of the Hobby Club. Oh, that's nice. Thank uh, you, Rudy. A lot of the, uh, most of the, all the Hobby Club, really. Um, yeah, thanks, Rudy. Yeah, Th thanks. And he posted a ton of pictures of this stuff, and it looks great. Aside, I, I want to share this because it had our names on it, which was very cool and nice of him, as always. But 
Um, the stuff in general looks cool. He painted up a lot of this stuff. And I'm kind of trying to figure out, I almost want to ask you, Saray, since you're in the Navy. Yeah. Uh, Rudy in the Army? Navy. He's in the Navy also? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, is, I, 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 I kind of keep forgetting to like ask him. I can't always tell. Is he painting in the Middle East? Or is he like, because he was home recently for a bit, like... Is that something you could actually do? I think while he's you're stationed. Open? I think he's stationed in the Middle East. So he's yeah, stationed in the Middle. Okay, yeah. like if you're stationed there, yeah, you can just you've got enough. Yeah, personal space. Yeah. And, okay, you can you can find some time and space to do. It. Okay, I've I've been kind of curious about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This stuff looks great. He, he's done a ton of it. It's just classic silver, orange, and like blue. He's got verdigris stuff going on. Big fan. Crazy Big fan. good weathering. Um. Really, man. Rudy needs to play heresy. He's got, like, the highly weathered heresy kind of style down. Yeah. yeah. He's got it nailed. Yeah. Uh, Timbit. Uh, yep. Wow. Yeah, Timbit. Looks like, I mean, look, you're not going to win any awards with this. Yeah. <laughs> Although. <laughs> Although he literally did. He did, he did, yeah. Yeah, um, dude, this is super awesome. He won yeah. a Cult of Paint, which is already, like, okay, look, Cult of Paint is, like, they're, like, my go-to, like, oh, I want to be better painter. Yeah. They're like my go-to channel, go-to people. And so he went to an event and apparently got best painted unit with these. Yeah, yeah. So freaking uh, Timbit just killing it over yeah, here. Yeah, Timbit's great. Uh, uh, I, I, um, yeah, great coloration. I love, I love the, I love like, I like teal with red. Yeah, teal and red's good. good teal color. and red's a really good color. So these are White Scars Destroyers. Okay. I like the cloth. Dude, look at the freaking freehand. The robe is very cool, yeah. So good. Yeah, As always, super cool stuff. Hey, stop stealing my ideas, though, with the flame. Uh, that's mine. Yeah. You on. can't do that. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Uh, this is our dear friend Bryce. We know this guy. Local, I do know Local Bryce. guy. Uh, Bryce is getting training ready for Maelstrom Mixer. Hey. Um, this is some... Yeah, This the train for Maelstrom Mixer is looking super cool. I was over there the other day while the guys are having a train day. And took some footage of it that we'll be sharing with you down the road. Um, and the guys are having these train parties and cranking out stuff. But what's so cool about it is there's so many, like, it's not like, it's not like I, one guy primes everything and then hands it to a guy and it's like, just do your best. You, like, are handing it to somebody that's a very good painter. Yeah. All the time <laughs> yeah. when you're over there. And so, like, maybe they haven't painted terrain before. Or but it out. most of them have. So it's like everybody's very capable. It's kind of it's kind of wild. Yeah, um, it's it's cool, and it's also people who are just good at being fast with this stuff. Yeah, they, there are some very talented hobbyists in that in our local fault line. Yeah. Um, hey. Oh, this is Chef. Oh wow, Chef. Yeah, yeah. Good chef job, is dude. like doing doing some interesting things in Nurgle these days. Yeah. I would say he's. Um, it looks like he's moved away from Sigmar Nurgle and into 40k Nurgle. Yeah. Um, this Good guy old looks Death cool. Guard. This is uh, I forget his name. I have him. There are it? Death Guard cultists, but by the way, there's that Tantalos ma Tantalos mask. Oh yeah, exactly. Look See? at this. Exactly. It's exactly right. right. Yeah, you could do it. Super cool. Yeah, Chef looking great. Um, I don't know, man. I I love. He's doing a lot of like very messy stuff, and then out of nowhere, there's like one element, like the bright blue that yeah. he was doing on the uh, Magakin, and now here it's the green. Yeah, like, just popping out. The, Super uh, cool. Yeah, not, it was a Kugoth, or Greater Demon Prince of Nerd, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, he's getting a lot of, uh, he's, he's he's getting a lot, he, Chef's great because he's like very much like, guys, what can I do to make this better? Yeah. A lot of people don't do that, right? Yeah. Um, and he's getting just like a, a bonkers amount of awesome help from, from Cody, uh, who's in chat now, and um, it, it's great to see people helping yeah. each other out. Like, I, that sounds like a very stupid thing to say, but it is great to see people helping each other yeah. out. Yeah. Okay, lastly, we know this this gal. This is Meg. Um, since Hi, Meg. She would kill me if I shared her stuff and fan stuff and she was here, but she's not here. <laughs> uh, Meg did finish her it. salon. You probably saw this picture if you're in her Discord. If you're not in her Discord, here it is. Um, very exciting. Um, I'm yeah, really excited for Meg. I have to say, I don't like paper plants. I've had some bad experiences yes, with Yes, I've heard you. Yeah, my rant more than once. She's making paper plants, like, work. Work, <laughs> yeah. Um, the base is really good. Yeah, I really super nice. I'm very excited to see the rest of this army come out. It's super awesome. Yeah. Don't approve of this blue base, though. The, the red, the blue yeah. red. Don't approve of uh, is that. It, is it funny that no. I actually want it a darker? I want it the... You saw the color I picked, right? No. What did you um, pick? Instead, of, it's like a... Um, it's like Night Lord's 
blue. It's like oh, a okay. really dark, dark like oppression blue, or almost like Incubi Darkness. Okay, kind of, but like less green than Incubi Darkness. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is right. Join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. It's maybe one of the best parts about our channel, and it's totally free. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's it. That's awesome. all the fan stuff. Very cool. Yeah. Um, how are we doing? We almost we're we almost doing good. I, I got to do some pupil. Obviously, we're not going to finish her today. Um, that was we we we, we knew that wasn't going to happen. But uh, yeah. I am going to. I gotta finish up a little bit of. I gotta reshade a little bit right here because it's too bright. I want to hurry up and paint this. Um... Hey, can I use your uh, tan color there? I have Iraqi sand. Yeah, it's... and I have English. You know, this is more khaki. Uh, actually, I'm going to do both because I'm going to build up some bone. Oh, um, I want this this gate on the side of the. Um, I want this gate on the side of the chariot not to be metallic, not to be more copper. Like I have a bunch of copper on this thing. Yeah. But I actually think I want it to be like bone. Oh, okay. Like a bone gate. Gate of bones. Bone gate. Yeah, so cool. Well, it's bone gate. <laughs> like the like is that is that like a is that a controversy? No, no, I'm I'm, <laughs> I, I'm just being a jackass. Um, this Saturday, if you're a, a fan of gaming, Age of Sigmar, we've got. Um, who do we got? Oh, uh, I think it's a Brett. I think it's a Brett John game. I believe so. Yeah, and then um, this Monday, if you remember, it's uh, Brad is back. Uh, I think it's a Brad John game. I think it's like a Oops All John. Oops All John. Yeah, that's right. He's on Saturday and Monday. Yeah, I think it's like an Oops All John. Um, I think it's Flesh Eater Quartz versus Seraphon on Monday. On Saturday, excuse me. Yeah. And I think it's either Flesh Eater Quartz again on Monday or Soul Blight. Um, kind of up to John. We like to let people, you know, do, do their, their thing. thing. Do their thing um, with what they with what they want to play. Um and I think it's... Uh, I don't know what Brad's going to play either. So, to be honest with you... Who knows? Who knows what Monday's matchup is. But I, I would not be surprised... Uh, I, Brad Sylvaneth, yeah, I had to get those and photograph them if that's what he wants. So we'll see. We shall see. Sorry, I'm looking for a blue. Otherwise, we have to keep making Brad play Skaven. Against his will. <laughs> He's enjoying it. He, he enjoys it, but... Um, Choosing a random color. This is not going to be what. This is not going to be standard for my army here. But uh, in the interest of finish something and show it off, I'm kind of ruining this model. So I'm going to stop. Okay. And instead, what I'm going to do is use a little bit. Well, what I want to do. So I have the rider finished. Yeah. And now I have the other guy finished. So I want to actually finish the body of the chariot so I can put the rider in and show everybody that. Okay. But I'm just going to use some sticky crap and stick them on there so I okay. have to glue them and I can take them off. I can't, the reason I bring this up is because there's like the inside of the gate, which once I put the rider in is going to be hard to get to. Right. Okay, sticky stuff, not working at all. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> oh, so, just, you have to hold him by his cape. All right, I'm trying to get some pupils in. And, man, you know what? Chariots. You painted two Stormcast chariots. Kind of a lot of work on a chariot, huh? It's a lot of... It's basically it keeps, two... It's basically three models. It keeps happening. Things keep happening when you're painting yeah. a chariot. You're like, oh, now the horses. <laughs> oh, full horses and full horse armor. Yeah. And complete horse models. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then you're like, oh, now the actual body of the chariot, and then anyone riding the chariot. Which there should be two people, right, riding a chariot, a traditional chariot. Tradition, traditional chariot. Your traditional chariot. Bye, Soups. We're about to leave, too. Uh, we're going to show off what we've got here. There's so much going on in the chariot. I only have one. I think for my style of Slaves of Darkness Army, I probably will only ever have one. Yeah. So I actually really want to do a nice job on this thing. I don't want to rush it. I like everything happening so far. I actually love this model. I think this model holds up fantastically. Um, You're a big fan? I am a very big fan of the cast cherry model. And I like the chariot more the way more than the gore. Mm -hmm. One, the gore one's cool. They're both cool. Um, okay, can I hand yeah. you a bit of a mess to, to handle, sorry. Um, so this guy is... Jeez. Oh, this guy goes here. 
Okay. And nothing's wet. I mean, you can't break anything. <laughs> the wheels are also like not excited. Yeah, you just. Oh, what if I grab like, it? Oh! What if I grab it like an orangutan? <laughs> then can I break it? Or like a baby? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Um, this is where we're at so far with this thing. The, look at the skulls up top. They're gonna be so cool when they're painted. <laughs> Normally, like that's that's where you put skulls right there. That's when you overdo yeah. with skulls right yeah. up top there like that. And your little trophies. Yeah, we've got the ashen skin kind of whip guy here. <laughs> I might have to do a little bit more on his mask. I, I I might put like some blood on him. I need to do something. I might put some war paint on his bare chest. There's this guy who's who's enormous. Enormous. Uh, and and that's mostly where I'm at. There's so much more going on this model. There's two giant like long, like like steakhouse horns coming out of the front of the chariot <laughs> yeah. that I have painted but not attached to it yet. I guess I should. Um, and then there's the horses. Yeah, very cool. I, I love this model. It's super cool. And you know what I will say about this chariot? Um, I I've, I enjoy. Uh, I you know I carefully picked this kind of like whitish blue, uh, but for, for pretty much blue and orange color scheme. Yeah. And nothing that I've done so far, I think, has shown off the color scheme better than the chariot. Because, <laughs> because it also has, like, all the natural... There's also a lot of copper in this. It's, yeah. like, copper, blue, and orange. And then there's also a lot of metallics and then other natural things. Like, there's a lot of bone. Le like yeah. Those are just parts that are there. And this is this this model has shown it off better than anything else. Yeah, it's got a little bit yeah. of everything yeah. going on. All right, I've got... What's her face? Holga? Yeah. Still didn't never figure her name Ho out. Cloven, you were Cloven right. It's, it's face. Cloven, Cloven face. face. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, I'm going to come up with a lore reason for this. Um, I could not get the blue paint to go into her left pupil, but I noticed that's where her horn is also chopped off, so I'm just going to say she got sliced in the face and what, she's blind in one eye. Yeah, she doesn't need both eyes. Anyway, yeah. Kathusa goes to battle with zero eyes. So, there we are. Obviously not finished yet. Um, but I think this is... I am going to stick with this scheme. Oh, so, yeah. It looks great. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with the bone armor. You kind of just casually got into your favorite Citadel color. Yeah. To use it and here. Like burgundy. Going to go with the burgundy. Ooh, so that's good. Still need to do a little bit of what you can see. It's a little splotchy in the back there. Yeah. Uh, and then the dark bone, uh, I'm pretty happy with. I'm, a little bit of cleanup needed, but... And also the skin, I'm going to go with that dreadful visage. Um, I wasn't sure I was if I was going to go with a little bit more, but I think this kind of gross purple, almost dead skin, undead skin... Is nice. Is nice with the burgundy. If you look at a lot of the artwork, they uh, that's pretty common. Yeah, they look... Yeah. They look unwell. But yeah, she's got a one blue eye and one that's not in good shape. So, Yeah. All right. Nice work, dude. Thank you. I'm excited to see the rest of this army. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, I will, at some point, um, one day we'll do, we'll have like my, I'll, I'll play yeah, we'll poorly have my chaos. <laughs> we'll do chaos versus chaos. Yeah, chaos v chaos. Yeah. Um, I have all the Varengard. <laughs> you, you have all the Varengard. Yeah, it's, it'll be, it'll be quick maybe. Um, awesome. We did it. Um... Oh, but is there something coming out tomorrow? So there's a video coming out yep. tomorrow. Uh, Speaking of Varengard. Yes. Of, yes, Varengard? he's a Varengard, but... Is he? You'll see. You'll see. You you'll should see. see tomorrow. You'll see. Um, this is a cool one. Yeah. This is a cool one. Um, and uh, otherwise, we'll see you Saturday for for an AOS game. Oh, wait. Um, we need to do our... There we go. Yeah, Mandrills. Oh, we need to add some Mandrills. Oh, we added Bond. Cool. We need to add yeah. some Mandrills. Um, somebody, somebody else just became a Mandrill that we know. I can't remember who it was. We need to update it then. We got to update it, yeah. Um, awesome, fantastic. Uh, thanks, Mandrills. Uh, if people who are Mandrills, um, we've say this all the time, but in case any of you missed it, it's it's just nice because it's just like monthly support yeah. that can be yeah. counted on. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. Uh, sir, anything else? Did we do it? No, I think we did it. Okay, cool. Well, folks, as we like to say, be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves, and always be creating. Bye, Bye folks. <laughs> <laughs>